All right, let's see here. Oh, nice. Testing, testing. Whoa, Samantha, you crazy. Look at that. That's cool. It's like fist bumping. Yo, thank you so much for that. How come the uh, alert didn't go off? You know what? I think, I think I turned off the, uh, I think I turned off the, uh, um, alerts because it shows people's real names. Isn't that weird? Thank you so much for the stars. 500! 500 stars! I do like that fist bump too. All right, all right, all right. I think one last thing that we need to do here is... Boom, 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 boom. Appreciate that. Thank you so much. I can't believe it lets you send them. Because it said that I wasn't in the program. What up, Warbringer? How are you, buddy? Back to the normal. Don't, hey, don't call it the normal, man. You know what happens when we call the normal? We've we still haven't gone back to normal life since the pandemic. Ain't that the truth? Well, thank you very much for that. That's huge. That is huge. It, it, yeah, that's that's huge. I ate a sandwich, so you kind of full, and then what? You're gonna turn tie tie. All right, guys, we're going to get in this. We got to get back to uh, St. Denis. We have a meeting to get to. <clears throat> and here's the thing. I was, I was hearing a cougar outside mauling people. So hopefully it's been taken care of. But if not, then hold on to your butts. I'm glad you still have the feature. Oh, well, thank you. I appreciate that. I really do. Who knows? Maybe one day I'll be a big boy and, and we'll be live everywhere and everybody will just be enjoying the content and I won't have to, I don't know what I'm saying right now. I need, I need coffee. That's what I'm saying right now. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I I forgot that I turned off the alerts because I just didn't I didn't I don't think that people like their real names being shown, and I just can't get over that. So, um, here we go. We're gonna jump into this. Uh, here he is. Somebody killed it. I thought he was like real near me, but I didn't know he was right here. I would skin it, but <clears throat> but Salvatore doesn't know how to skin. He's never, yeah, real names. Who uses those? What up, satisfied? How are you, buddy? Um, 
Salvatore just doesn't know how to skin things, man. So it's... It's really weird. Like, I want to, because I could sell that right now and make money, but that's like, Sal doesn't know hunting. He doesn't know how to do any of that. So you gotta, you gotta stay true to him, man. Take off these glasses. So, so something happened in the latest update where uh, the glasses... I can't get a close-up of it. There's no lenses in them. So it's very interesting. Let's go check... Uh, Oh yeah, hey look, people over in uh, Twitch are saying hi to YouTube. That's a great way of doing it. People can say hi to each other because the, you can see the text. How cool is that? Doing well. We are having a heat wave now. Not like your 60 degree. Yeah, we almost hit, we hit 70 degrees yesterday. Or the other day. 66 today. All right, let's see here. What's today? 24th? Diaz, Mr. Salvatore Cassini. I am writing to express my interest with your bank. We are currently looking to set up a chain of communication with the bank for our business needs. I would like to set up a meeting with you and your staff to discuss this further. Benedict Falk. Mr. Cassini. I have the amount owed whenever you are eligible to meet up. Regards. Mr. Houlihan. I just got into town. Into the state. From a business. I can meet you anytime tonight. I am currently see here how can I say this in RP I took the fourth train stopped tonight I hope to see you soon sincerely Salvatore So I believe I, I already sent him a message earlier today. So that's cool. Purple Crew loves you guys. Oh, look at that. Howdy, partners. What up, props? How are you? How are you doing? Satisfied. Just uh, Hey, did you guys see uh, YouTube say hello to Twitch? This is going to be fun. I like the back and forth like this. Uh, let's see here. General public. Cool. Um... What we're going to do is, uh, Bank of Saint Denis. That's my alias. Now we're going to send a telegram. First Bank of Saint Denis is open. Gold Exchange. Loans, safety deposit boxes, and more. Swing by and see your pal, Sweet Sal. Ah, I flipped it on him tonight. All right, there we go. We flipped it on them, guys. We flipped it on them. Nice cougar. Uh, it was a gift. That wasn't the one that was terrorizing all the people around here, was it? Uh, yeah, it was. Uh, nature's gift to the people of Ansberg. Oh, I tell you what. There's so many times I come in here and these poor folk are being attacked and mauled and drug across the damn tracks from those things yeah i i know the feller i uh i used to work in the number two shaft up there uh overnights and uh one of them got loose oh, probably about a week after i got in country <laughs> and uh 
hell, it was just some poor local. I mean, he was a buddy of mine, a guy named Denny, but he lost three fingers to the damn oh. thing. I think he's still in the infirmary That's getting terrible. better from it. Terrible. <laughs> poor Denny. Uh, is what it is. And only thing that really bothers me about it is security doesn't seem to do anything about it. They're more concerned about keeping people in the mines than they are about <laughs> keeping animals off the property, it seems like. You know what? That's a good observation. I've noticed that too. They walk around like these macho men with their guns all out, but they don't ever take care of the wildlife that's attacking them. Speaking of wildlife, the damn thing still hasn't gotten down from there. What? Oh my god. Yep. Oh, there he goes. Yeah, it's terrible. It's a hell of a thing. Yeah, the other day That's... I actually saw a cougar up there. Now don't don't go putting such horrifying thoughts in my head. I really don't need more to think about these days. Yeah, well. Hopefully, I mean if you did take care of it, thank you. Thank you very much. Well, I certainly, I mean, I put a few rounds into it, but I think it might have fallen over just about the same time I did. Hmm. Oh, look at this. Another good for nothing. They can't even keep this uh, town safe. Yeah, he's probably looking to pick up his cut of the meat. Hmm. You know, do oh. all the, uh, take all the credit, do none of the work. That's uh, Jameson Mining Security Company's uh, motto. Oh, jeez. I think. Don't tell them I said that, though. What was your name, fella? Uh, Mornwell. Eddie. Uh, worked for Briggs Overland. Briggs? Oh, is Briggs, uh, the uh, tra transportation fella? Yeah, the stagecoach fella. Well, oh. stage, stagecoach, steamboat, ferry. I guess he works on the lottery as well now with Mr. That's Stowe. That's right, with Mr. Stowe. Yeah, he's, a he's an ambitious fella, but, um... He brought me on, so I figure he uh, he can't be quite that bright. <laughs> well, don't don't sell yourself short there. Yeah, I'm I'm I got muscles. Uh, that's obviously uh, I developed in one area, lacked in another. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was a it was hard trade for Pa, I think, but um, I, I mean it works out all right. Well, I mean. I'm not necessarily a muscular guy either, but, uh, you know, I do what I can here and there. <laughs> I can see, I can see, you seem, uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to come across you in a dark alley in the middle of the night. I feel like you'd take me for every last cent I had. Well, I mean, no, maybe not me, but I, you know, I know a guy. <laughs> and you know a guy who knows a guy and that guy knows a guy. Something like that. <laughs> Something like that. I don't think I caught your name, old fella. Salvatore Cassini. Mr. Cassini, it's a pleasure to meet you. You too. I'm trying to actually meet with your employer, Mr. Briggs, soon. Uh, he can be an evasive fella. He's usually around. Um, we take the opposite sides of the day. He's usually around early, and I'm around later in the evening. Yeah, I was inspired by, uh, you know, like you said, he's a very ambitious fella, and... Uh, was wanted to see if he needed any type of financial assistance. Uh, you see, I run the uh, First Bank of Saint Denis. Oh yeah, I think I've seen your uh, I've seen your notices posted up around when I'm down that way. Yeah. Yeah, I thought the name sounded familiar. It's a it's a pleasure to be uh, meeting personally with the highest of the high society. Oh Jesus! In no, no, no! Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> Look, I'm just I'm just you know a poor man just trying to help other people get their feet off the ground. And that is a very noble profession. Now, speaking of, I have a meeting that I need to get to. Eddie, it was I fantastic meeting you. Likewise, Mr. Cassini, you be safe on the road. You too, and hey, you take care of all the cougars around here, all right? <laughs> one at a time, we'll see. Yeah, one at a time would be the safest bet. Yeah. All right, you take care, Mr. You Cassini. Too. Be safe on the road. He doesn't know the real sound like us. <laughs> Next on the Wildlife Adventures, cougars attacking from the roofs. Yeah, man. Every time I spawn in here, right, there's always a cougar. If no one's been around, the cougars find them, themselves over here, and then they just start attacking the locals. And it's just so crazy that there's it's just it just kills them all. And it just goes around until someone puts a stop to it.
And those are the, I wish the NPCs would fire on like, you know, like the dangerous animals that are like, once they start going into attack mode, it would be really cool that those guys protected you, right? But they don't. They don't. All right, let's make it over to, uh, the same cougar killed you three times when you started RDO. Yeah. I, it's so it's terrifying because I'll log in in the morning sometimes and I'll like you know nobody's been around here so I'll on, immediately start hearing it like growl at things and it's taken me out a couple of times but Sal will try and like kill it but he doesn't know what to do with it afterwards Let's cheat for a minute. Let's just cheat for a minute, guys. Uh, boing. I call it cheating, but honestly, turn it into a coat. I just want to do the, uh, the beautiful cinematic view. It's a map for Mansburg. It's not about the map. It's about autopiloting, man. I don't need a. Oh, actually, I do need a map. I'm terrible. Yo, Betrayo, what's going on? Thanks so much for the raid. S Guns, what's going on, brother? What's going on today in the Red Dead RP? Uh, we have a meeting with the uh, core members of Chamber of Commerce. We've had some things happen in the past uh, few, maybe a week or so, that we need to really discuss, and people need to decide if they're with us or if they ain't. If they, if they're with us or if they ain't us. So we're gonna do that. Satisfied over on YouTube says maps are for people who don't know where they are going pulls out maps to see where we are going Yeah, I definitely have no idea where I'm going Boy, we in here. What up hamster? How are you doing? If that ain't w with us, baby, they did mm, Something like that Something like that How was apex betrayal? How we how was it? I mean, I miss apex D-E-D I miss me some Apex. I heard Lifeline actually got a boost. Now, okay, now granted, it's been over a year since I've played it, um, played Apex, but I heard that, like, it's starting to get, like, it's starting to get picked me up again. It was okay, no dubs. Oh, well, you know what? I, to be honest, I never won anything. Now, I was on teams that did win, but I never considered myself as getting dubs either, so it's okay. I don't know if that helps you or if that, that makes you feel worse or not, but hey, hey, there you go.
if you come and play apex are we going to get some games in yeah man if i ever do go back to and, and play apex i gotta just like just play with all the friends I was kidding. Wait, wait, wait. Brit, Brit wouldn't carry me. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I always felt, uh, I always felt bad being the guy that people had to carry. Uh, Escons, have you been in any fist fights lately? Um, I try to stay out of those. Sal's not necessarily a fighter. Definitely, he's not a, a he's not much of a fist fighter. Not much of a fist fighter. We're almost to Saint Denis. The last one was pretty crazy. Which one did uh did you see where I was in a fist fight? Which I wonder. Sal hurts his friends more than his enemies. To be honest, you're not wrong. You are not wrong, Props. Definitely after the past few times. Yeah. I am fortunate enough to not really be in situations that are very hostile towards me. Now I'm gonna knock on wood. Outside the bar, I think it was, that guy was tall. <laughs> I remember swinging at somebody and missing because he was so tall. Cuts to throwing a knife into duck's necks. <laughs> oh man, props. I had somebody do some editing on that for me and then I realized that I accidentally edited out a lot of, a, a couple of really good parts of that. And I feel so bad. So I'm going to have to like do a video for YouTube and like do it like a an overlay setting up the scene and then going into all the uh, medical RP stuff. Oh, I knocked him out though. No oh, wait, I think you were here whenever I beat up this uh, my old nemesis. That's played by a buddy of mine. Yeah, that that was a long time coming. I thought that was pretty funny. But he he let me win. So, yeah, it was Joda. He let me win. That son of a <laughs> These people are so slow. Got a convoy going in as buggies. That son of a beep. <laughs> I like how I, I I beep out when Red Seal says something like that, but I don't beep it out whenever like Sal says something like that. It's just it's part of the content, I guess. When I'm Salvatore, I'll say words that I don't really typically want to say regularly. Oh my god, why am I flying around like crazy? Let's see if we are meeting at the bar. Yeah, I look like we might be, maybe not. Yeah, maybe we are. Did that guy just bump into me? We're gonna let him slide on that one. That is what, that is what is called 
method acting. Everybody here. How you doing, so Doing all right. How's everyone doing? Biv, Bryn, Doug. Hello. Hello. Mhm. Mm I'm sorry, buddy. How you feeling? Feeling good, buddy. Feeling good. It's good seeing you. Good see you too. And you forget to shave though. <laughs> Been uh more preoccupied. Oh yeah? How are you doing, Red How's that yeah, sound? There's shit rolling around in my head other than shaving. You know what I mean? I can understand that. You want a coffee or anything, Sal? So? What's that? So you want a coffee or anything? Coffee would be great. Thank you. Doug has seen some shit. They did a shootout the other day and stuff. Uh, you see anyone interesting around around the city? Nah, uh, he almost got attacked by a cougar in Ansberg. Oh, that's fun. Thank you, Riker. You really spend an your free time up there these days. Yeah, it's, you know, it, as you know, the, the noise from the mining and all that stuff, it just kind of helps me not think about things sometimes. Hmm. Understandable. Uh. Hmm. I'm going to uh, just run really quickly down the street and make sure that there's no letters or anything from anybody and uh you can take my god if you want you probably don't want me doing that probably not i just would charge him for a new one <laughs> yeah i don't think he wants to pay mm -mm. so how's everyone i'm still alive you know i heard you uh Heard you got a little, I don't know how to put this, uh, you okay? What do you mean? I'm fine. Okay. I thought what I, exactly did you hear? I thought I heard you, something, you know, you might have gotten shot or something. Who said that? I can't remember. I'm fine. Here. Me? Hmm? Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm alright. I mean, I'm not, you know, chasing people down and shooting people, so I, everything's fine at the bank. How are all those loans coming? Uh, well, the pirate came and paid uh, three three fourths of uh, what he owed. Mm. I got a couple of people that uh, messaged me actually today and uh, said that they were going to try and come in and pay today. Oh, interesting. So far, nobody seems like they're trying to skirt away with it. Huh. That's good. That's I thought we'd have more runners. <laughs> so did I. Especially the, the pirate, and he's the yeah, one the that... the pirate. I can't believe you gave him that much money to begin with, I'll be honest. You know, you learn... A lot when you do the the first of anything. That's that's a fair point. Yeah. He just so happened to be the first, and now because of him, he doesn't truly really know that. But we've upped our per percentages, and we made payments a lot sooner than waiting a whole month. Mm -hmm. So you do learn. That is something. Yeah, but you know what? I switched to weekly payments, and uh, I got two people that are. Past due now. Hmm, same. Ideal. Are you charging them uh, interest on their lateness? That's something that it has and needs to be, I think, worked out a little bit more, especially if during the agreement process. 
I don't want to just come at them and be like, oh, by the way, since you're late, we're adding another 10%. Understandable. However, it doesn't help that Butch is sending out people <laughs> messages saying that uh, either they pay up or uh, he's going to do something about it. Do you know what? I did forget to talk to him about that. I, I will have to have a word. I, I sent him a letter today. Oh, okay. Because he was asking about uh, all the names of who this owes. So I let him know who owes what, and then I kindly put it into a, you know, let's let's be a little bit more passive on this son until they start to show that they're not going to stop paying, and then we can be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I agree. We're uh, going to have to see with Butch as is anyway, because as much as I do like him for that sort of thing, as much as I do like having him around overall, do you know, I think we're all aware he's a little uh, far gone at the moment. Yeah, I mean, if last I heard, he's running around with another crew. The Hagans. Hmm. And you know, for a man so good at his job, it is uh, strange that he enjoys getting caught so much. Hmm. And you know what? It could be the people that he's hanging out with. I say people, but I really mean one person. Person? Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we're all generally on the same page about that. Anyone else have any news? Anything? Viv, you, have you been doing your business? And Oh, no. I am I think my time would better be spent making posters uh, for any new businesses coming in. Uh, my business never really took off, and I lost my main customer, the Freemans. Hmm. So. And plus, at this point, it would probably be much better not to have them as customers. Very nice of us. So, I will be able to dedicate more time for uh, if uh, if we do bring in more people to make them uh, stamps and posters and event. Oh, but um, the faceless are having a masquerade. A masquerade. Yes. Isn't that what they do every day? Yes. <laughs> And we're looking for a singer, but I don't know any singers. We do. Yeah. Do we? Mm-hmm. Are you offering? <laughs> well, what do you? Who are you thinking? Because I, I remember <laughs> the only thing I'm thinking of is Cyrene, the lady that Butch was trying to chase down. You expect me to sing? I, I am just. I don't even know what to say. Well, no, you, know, the... you were very keen on the idea right away. That I thought you had something to offer. Yeah, go ahead and give us something there, right? There. <laughs> Jesus, you are out of your mind. No, the woman who uh, sang before the fight night. Oh, Tommy's sister? No, his sister. Buddy, we already had this conversation. <laughs> okay, it wasn't that... his sister. That his guy... sister was the... He... I've already thrown him out twice, I think. He pays his the light sister... bill. His sister was the one who... Uh was running the bar, uh, not, not I, the one who sang at the bar. I was upstairs singing bets, I do not remember. Forget her name. Man, man, remember the day, Sal? When all you had to worry about was shutting that door? Yeah. And I got oh, paid a quarter to do it? it? I think it went up each time, you know? I think by like the, the third to fourth day, you were up to like 76 cents, I think. And now mm -hmm. I'm giving money out to people. Mm. Mm-hmm. Should I write Tommy a letter asking for her name, or do you by chance remember it? It is... Hold on. I, I pride myself on really good memory. Give me a minute. Let me... Oh. Well, he's a really good memory that needs to be kick-started. He's, he's gonna have to think about it. <laughs> it's, uh, it, it takes a little bit to, uh, to warm up. Uh-huh. Hang on. It's your uh -huh. memory in your legs. Let me go the other way. Yeah. Take your time. Sabrina. 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 But I don't remember her last name. Oh, 
All right, Tom. All right, so yeah, write him a letter then. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Nice right. memory. You want me to? You want me to do a lap around is the she, block? Is she Maybe a good singer? Last name? Since mm -mm. Uh, she, she's not a good singer. Who? Sabrina. Is Sabrina a good singer? Oh, I have no idea. Then what were you saying no to? You. Oh yeah, I suppose I did ask a question. Hmm. Is she a good singer or not? So I'd what? like to think so. I honestly cannot remember. I. You guys heard her sing at the fight Do night. Do you did remember, you not? Doug? The lady that was singing at the fight night. Yeah, yeah. before in the best. You know, she was a good singer. She yeah. was really good. Thank you, Doug. And she she would be uh, I think more than excited to. Uh... She wasn't only singing; she was playing the piano at the same time. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. oh, very talented, wonderful. Okay. So I think you showed up when we were already at the the fight itself, so you might yeah. have missed the performance. Yeah, it was kind of late. Mm-hmm. I don't think I've only heard one person sing, and that was Siren or whatever her name was that Butch was giving a tour to. The the contortionist. Yeah, she sang right in the middle of the bank. Was she good? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Hmm. Well, hang on now. Did we not all sing sea shanties at one time? I didn't. Yeah, I didn't. But we weren't very good. We were what? not very good. I think collectively it was fantastic. I mean, it was very loud. <laughs> That's about all it was. Yeah, it certainly hit an octave. When the hell was this? Remember when we lost, we lost the wheel when we had three wheels and a Rika. Yeah. And when you drove... Oh, I was too busy being the wheel. That makes yes, sense. Oh, right. Three <laughs> wheels and a wheeler. <laughs> I, I must have missed this. Isn't that when Rika jumped off of his horse onto the... Uh... No. No, that's onto a different time. We were coming Separate. back from... Yeah, Jameson was, uh... Armadillo. Was... Oh, I jumped yeah. off the wagon at one point. Yes, so it was very exciting. Remember when we used to ride around in wagons and have such fun? And one of us nearly died every single time. <laughs> I wonder which one. Not... okay. Sometimes me. Oh, I'm not blaming you. It's I mean it's clearly this guy's yeah, fault I mean, by the look. Someone certainly ran me over. Look, completely. there's there's a road, and then there's people that like to run across the road whenever a carriage was is going not, down. Was not on the road at the time. Salvatore was not on the road. Was off the road, standing still. Okay. You ran me over. You ran me over on my horse. Okay. All right. Broke my fucking ribs, Salvatore. I, I this is very much a time to remember things. That's very long ago. Mm -hmm. I think that was the first ago. day I I met you. Yes, it <laughs> was. It, uh, it most certainly you was. You stabbed me that day. Yes, that's why you were in the carriage. That's true. You would have also run me over. Now I know we were coming back from Valentine, but I or going no, to we were Valentine. Going to Valentine. But that that couldn't have been the same night as One Eyed Sally. <laughs> I mean, Jesus. I... No. I think that was too early. That was the first day. That was a couple of days I'm later. Ready. Was it later? It was later. It was a couple of days later because we came there and there was all the deputies that I almost ran over for separate reasons. And then, yeah, no, that was a couple of days later. We came back to meet one eyed Sally. I, I stopped having nightmares about her like last week. Well, congratulations. You can reawaken that fucking spark. One man's nightmare is another man's fantasy. It, I'm not sure that's the saying. It's close enough. I mean, if you got ten dollars in an hour, she might still be down there. I think I'm hard past there. <laughs> no worries here, Sal. Oh, I know you took a, a very deep liking to old Sally. I kissed the back of her hand. It tasted like an ashtray. Why did you have to use the word deep? Oh. Yeah, I really thought she was going to be the one for you, Riker. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
I can still hear her voice. Ugh, like a fucking wood saw. I mean, we're we're still breezing past the fact that, and the same way we did the first night, but Sal and Sally. I mean, come on, Sal. It's I don't see how it's I don't see how she's meant for me. And it's pretty good, actually. Mm -hmm. One-eared Sal and one-eyed Sally. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty fucking good. Between the two of you, you can hear and see just fine. I shall make the wedding invitations. I, I don't get it. Oh, I'm sorry. Your Staying left, your left ear is the yeah, yeah, yeah. One eye, one-eyed Sally and one-eared Sal. You are perfect for each other. Can oh, you hear me now? Uh -uh. Yeah, I heard you. Jesus. I still don't get it. I'm like, I'm just short. It's, it's going right over my head. Yeah, so was she. Uh. Well, I mean, that's that's not saying much. I think everybody is. I mean, look at them. <sighs> no, no, no. Elizabeth. Uh, what's her name now? That she's married to the cannoli lady. She's not she's married. She's unmarried now. Did she change the name back? Did you not hear the story? Yeah. She's still like a, uh, what is it? A... I told you this the other night. I know that she's... Divorced? Sometimes people separate and don't actually divorce, okay? Oh, no, they're hard divorced. So is she the back to a, like a Bastion? And that's right, her last name's Bastion, right? Yeah, I believe so. Mm -hmm. Austin Creamery. I didn't know she kept the last name of the, the schmuck that she was married to. Mm. Well, no, his name was Ryder. Yeah, he's right. She Anyways. was Lizzie Ryder. Come on now. Anyways, she She's back is to shorter Bastion than Creamery. me. That's what I was getting to. This meeting is going very well. <laughs> Are we waiting for somebody or should we uh, get down to the, the nitty gritty here? I go. I can see your lips moving, but I can't make out the words. Oh. Maybe, maybe it's my left ear. Go ahead and try that again, Rika. Uh, he, he might have a headache, uh, yeah. like Bren. Oh, people are dropping like flies here. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm trying to stuff all that hair in that stocking cap is good. Mm -hmm. I missed him looking like Dappa and Shop. What happened to that? He had like the vest, the hair was slicked back. I'm sure people were giving him shit about it. Everyone loves to give each other shit about how they look. Look, if this is about me and the facial hair comment, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Oh. So, did someone just ride by? I think so. Hmm. Oh man! You know what? It, 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 I think it's. I think it's this bar. What about it? Like any time, remember how like we would have to, we would end up spending a lot of time in here doing meetings and stuff. And then we'd have to, you know, like we deal with headaches and it just pushes things further. That hasn't happened in a long time. And then we decide to have a meeting here and voila. Hmm. Well, we have been here for quite some time. I'm sorry if I kept you waiting. No, no, that's not what I mean. I mean all of us, you included. 
so it's not that all of us you know how when there's a bunch of people on valentine people get headaches because everybody's shouting and such like that mm -hmm. yeah so i don't think it's been because we're all gathered here but it could be it could be the bar uh, i don't know maybe it's cursed I'll, I, think I think I've heard a story about that, that this place used to be cursed. Oh, yeah? yeah I heard that, too. Interesting. That fly flying around here is about to get cursed. <laughs> You're going to shoot it? I thought about it. You could throw your cleaver at it. Oh. Cleaver? You got a cleaver? Yeah, I haven't, I haven't showed you yet. Where did you get a cleaver at? It was, all right, so I've been, I've been doing a little bit of like a, a side job lately, just getting my mind off of things, kind of doing, it allows me to explore and just to really think, you know, when I want to think. Ansberg is when I don't want to think because all the noise, when I leave it. Anyways, so I was doing some uh, deliveries and I went and exploring out in the snow up in the mountains. I came across this fella sitting in a cabin. Started talking to him and uh, he asked if I wanted to buy this cleaver. So I said, okay. yeah. So, so you bought a murder weapon? I don't think so. I think you could use it at, like as a butcher. Mm -hmm. What do you think? It suits you perfect. I don't think so. I looked at myself in the mirror the other day holding this, and I'm like, man, what am I doing? No, 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 no. You see how, mm, like, the handle good. of it's kind of short, but the, the blade of it's really big? You're short, but you got a big personality. It suits you perfect. Huh. I mean, it is kind of fun to throw. I, I would prefer you didn't. But I... I've been told that I'm not allowed to throw things anymore. Oh. And I'm trying my best to, to you know, follow that. Well, I mean, it's a nice cleaver. I'm sure, uh, you know, Dylan would have something to say about it. Who? Dylan, the butcher. Who probably uses a cleaver every day. Hmm. That's if he's even being a butcher. Are uh, you implying that he's dead? No, I'm implying that instead of meat, he was butchering something else. I met a cannibal yesterday. You went, met a Holy what? shit. Yeah. But she only eats men and deputies apparently huh that's an interesting taste yeah we tested it because um to see if she could tell the difference between a man and a woman's hand so while she was in jail uh coyote reached his or put his pinky finger in and then pulled it out and then i put mine in and left it there and then she didn't eat my pinky finger but she ate this uh coyote no, no, he pulled it out before she could bite it. Huh. Wait, huh. so you were in jail with the person? No, no, no. No, I was outside. Oh. No, she was in the Valentine jail. There's a window. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Coyote, huh? Huh. Hmm. Well, I mean, that kind of implies that sh she's probably eaten more than one person. Yes, most likely. I mean, she, she seemed very sure of herself. She'd have to know the difference if there is one in taste. So, you know. I just want to know what, what makes deputies taste different. I don't know. She almost ate Bryn because Bryn's white hat. 
Is that why she's not wearing it no more? Uh, no, I think she just, uh, we all saw Riker wearing his old outfit, so we all changed. That's why I'm wearing this. Hmm. Ah, I see. The old outfit, the bring it back. Who's that? Tommy. Hey, Tommy. And then Thomas? Yes. Can you... Tommy, talk for us so we know you can. It's Doug. Yes. You all right there, kid? Yep. Hi, Doug. Hey, buddy. <sighs> How you doing, Tommy? Uh, I'm doing okay. Tommy, you're getting taller, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, you are. You're Jesus. taller than I am now. <laughs> I mean, it's been a while, so... Yeah. You still shaving? Yes. That's good. That's good. Yeah, keep it up. Pretty soon you'll have a, a Cassini stash in no time. Yeah. Mm. I mean, that's literally what I wish for, so. Look, you with the Cassini stash would... Yes. We that can would... all have Cassini stashes. No, that would be scarier than Even... a wet dog with a fly swatter. <laughs> uh, a what? Scarier than a wet dog with a fly swatter. Fly? With what? What? You know, something that you swat the flies in. Oh. That's not what I heard. No. I heard, like, lice water. Lice water would definitely not be something that... No. Oh, Tommy. Mm -hmm. Sorry. I don't mean to interrupt your wet dog analogy. No. Um... <laughs> Do you remember the name of the singer that you had for, uh... Serena fight? Sinclair? Serena Sinclair. Not mm -hmm. Sabrina. Okay, we're telling, we're telling Riker that. The Faceless are having a masquerade. Okay, and okay. We are looking for a singer. A win? Uh, we don't have a date yet. Exactly. Okay. Alright. So, I... Just, can you ask them not to make it on, like, a Wednesday? Because that's when we're going to try to plan events. Oh, okay. Um, I can ask. I mean, it yeah, would be in well, Van Horn. Uh, yeah. So. Wait, a masquerade in Van Horn? Yes. At the old that lights. Interesting. Interesting. I mean, yeah. It's the faceless. What do you expect? I mean, the Van Horn saloon is pretty nice. I like it. It's cozy. It, mm -hmm. it does have a better layout than... Doyles. It's bigger. Did, yeah. did Brick's horse just go by? I don't know. Did it have someone on it? No. Oh, I think that was I've, Rikers. Uh, that horse scares the hell out of me. Uh, That's Rikers, isn't know, it? Since we don't really run the Doyles anymore, why not choose yes, a different... Yes, we do run Doyles. Oh, okay. Yes, we do. I mean, it's not like he, he used to be. He to come back and say that. Yeah, he was, right? I've been here a few times in the past week. What? No, I'm saying like, you remember how it used what? to be packed. We were here, we were busting out. Like well, Doug was serving left and right. And... Cause we're not, uh, yeah, I know. It's just not the same well, anymore. That's what well, this conversation is have, about, I'm sure. I know. Yeah. It's, you know, I don't want to give up the, the bar. I'm never going to give it, give it up. I'm not saying give up the bar, but I don't know. I just, I have this thing in me that, and maybe it's just because I used to do conducting, meetings on the train. Just, I don't know. The view would be amazing. People wouldn't be able to eavesdrop as easily. I mean, we could always do that. It doesn't mean we can't do stuff here. When's the last time we were all here? The other day. Hold on, hold on. Was that was it Bree's horse or was it Riker's horse? It's Riker's. I thought it was Bryn's horse. It was a white horse. Here, it was it, a great Turgaman, wasn't it? Come with me. Come with oh. me. Look at this. Go 
morning, mister. How you doing there, chief? Hey, Doug. I'm gonna go to the telegram station real quick. Okay. I need to get a runner just in case people are looking for me. Oh, there you are. Is sure. somebody laying in the middle of the street over there? Yeah, that horse is freaking haunted. No, that horse... Uh, I'm telling you. That's the second time it's done that. Walked in front oh. of the Doyles, walked around the street, and stopped in front of the church. It, like, nope. trotted nope. towards the tur church. Yeah. That's why horses aren't the greatest thing. Now it's freaking out. Carriages, the horses don't freak out as bad. That's so creepy. Come on, Chief. Move it along. How you doing? You don't need the whole road, you schmuck. people that need to pay up on their loans. Yeah, props. Sometimes I feel like uh people get annoyed by the uh the th things. I don't know, like sometimes they <laughs> I try to fit it in and I just feel like people are like, oh god, Red Seal's doing his thing again. <laughs> but I love it. Uh, personal? Nope. Uh, Stripes Morgan, Bank of St. Denis, boom, 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 boom. I'm around, this dress is pretty, but I don't know, fashion is weird. Do they know it's an actual thing you do? Uh, some of them do. Like, Doug knows, because Doug loves it. Uh, he... Sometimes he doesn't seem like he loves it in character, but I, th I think out of character, he loves it. Um, let's just go ahead and do this. Um, boop -a -doop, boop -a -doop -a -doop. we need to go do our, our signs. Since we're waiting for everybody to be, uh, to load back in. This sucks, man. Like, so all of us got messed. Like we were supposed to go on a different server and we were having trouble with the queue. And then some of us were like getting into where like it wasn't let, it wasn't letting us in. So we decided to switch servers because it was a lot easier for all of us to get in. So we all get in and then two people crash. It's just like, I mean, we're spending an hour now more than that and we still haven't done what we're supposed to do yet that's rough that's rough right there um let's see here boop do general chat see here Gotta get, gotta get, copy paste. -a. 
So what does it say? Loan, safety deposit, and, and gold exchange events. As far as please contact Salvatore Senior or an associate. For, uh, feel free to help yourself to the candies in the lobby. Drop. I haven't been putting candies in the lobby, though. I need to start doing that more. Like real ones, you know? Boom. B had a proximity related crash right before the firefight in the new Austin and took forever to get back in. Yeah, it just that, that just sucks, you know, like you get everything prepared. Oh, today I get to actually see tellers. Fantastic. Uh. Let's see here. Ah. Oh, why is he why is he like grinning like that? Oh <laughs> Why was he grinning like that? Did you see like he kind of was smiling? That's funny. Sound doesn't seem like the smiling type. Uh, he'll smirk. If he smiles, if Salvatore ever smiles, like whenever I do slash me smile, it's one of those sarcastic smiles. Like it's a fa either he's faking smiling or whatever. Let's see here. Finish up the pipe, man. Finish up the pipe. Thank you. Oh, it looks like we missed a delivery from Miss Bastion. Oh, well, I got to send her a message. You know what I wanted to do? This is what I wanted to do. I had this idea that I was going to like drop like Sal has a hole in his pocket. Um, so he's going to be like casually the, the boxes aren't a new feature. It's anytime you drop an item on the ground, it'll show up like that. 
it, it, no matter what it is, it's a box. Um, but it tells you what it is with a red label. So I thought maybe Sal could have a hole in his pocket and, uh, I'm just going to periodically drop them, which one, hopefully it just, people are going to pick it up, but then maybe they'll come to the bank and try and exchange it. So, which I'm completely okay with, uh, exchanging the stuff that I already owned just because it'll drive something. It'll drive some RP. Wonder if I can drop it like while we're drop. Oops. Oh, <laughs> the cart acted like it hit something when I did that. Woo. Whoops, I couldn't get in because of that light pole. Move it up a little bit. I think sometimes like, I think the boxes, oh, he is alive here. Um, I think the boxes show for the person that drops them, maybe, I don't know. Thanks. <laughs> well, that was a quick shutdown. Oh my goodness. Oh, who do we have here? You are right there? <laughs> Sorry, I slipped. Slipped I mean, on I what? I fell for you. You, you, you what? Huh? I just, there's, there's Ask some, uh... Ask him on a date. There, uh, there's Ask some, a date. Uh, like a p pool of water oh, on the floor. And, a, yes, we were just talking about it. And I, I slipped, and then I fell, and then you walked in. Well, that's. Are you okay? Uh, yeah. Now that you're here, I'm uh, perfectly fine. Oh, wow. Oh, see. Didn't know you felt that way, oh, Bobby. Jesus. Wait, does does Bryn know about her uh her haunted horse? Huh? Anybody? Oh, oh it was that Yeah, your horse did the thing again where it walked in front of the bar and walked all the way down to the church and stood in front of the church. Yeah, Thomas. and it like ran Thomas. towards the church. Thomas, of course, I would get a telegram oh, right when I get back. <laughs> just, just wait. Just, what, just stand What do you here. mean again? Okay. It's not the first time it's done that. No, no, it stand just here. Just trotted in front of the here? door. Like right wait, here. Wait, what are you? What are you two doing? Okay. I'm standing <laughs> right here. That? Yes. Nothing. What? Just, I'm I'm serious. It's not. It's not the first. It happened to me. Yeah. You. I don't remember where you went. Uh, but it happened to me. I was the only one in here. I think. No, there was other people in here, and no one else saw your horse walk in front of the the bar. But it did. It walked around the corner by itself. Walked down the street. Was I? I was next to it the entire time. I went out the back. I caught it when it when it went around. I walked next to it till it got to the church. It stopped in front of the church, waited a second, and then started freaking out because I was next to it. It's haunted. Your horse is possessed. I. That's concerning. I don't know what's wrong with my horse. Actually, I mean, like I knew he was a demon, but Jesus Christ. Maybe it just missed you. <laughs> That's... Yeah, but I'm not at the church. Do you ever go to the church? Sometimes. That's weird. That's very fucking weird. Hmm. Hmm. We gotta get we gotta get the uh, them uh, mystery uh, investigators on it. Oh, the occultists. Mm -hmm. Oh god. No, oh, is that what they are? Are they? Uh, the know. wizard and the collector. 
I thought they were occultists, are they not? Oh, I have no idea. All right, so what are we doing this? Uh, do we have anyone else we're waiting on? Don't think so, Riker. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't believe so. Hmm. All right, well, are we going to do the good old sit in the back? I did just have a little... Oh, what? Hold on. What the heck? All right. Use, use deal with that fella. I didn't know the circus came to town. Hmm? Use deal with Bobby. I'll be right back. I got to go. I just... Sorry. Tell I him Devlin, him. you got so much taller since the last time I... That, oh my... He does look like my... All right, let's get back. Uh, we got to go to the... I mean, the telegram could be something serious. I'm sorry. Out of all of them, I actually have a job. <laughs> the rest of them, they can sit there and twiddle their thumbs and want to discuss and not discuss and then fall on the floor and all that jazz. I gotta get. A, why did I do a whole circle? Oh. Skirt. I hate going this fast in buggies. Keep it to a trot, sir. I know, right? Keep it to a trap. I bet you it was a. Uh, I wonder if it was uh, Elizabeth Bastion with cannolis. <laughs> Skirt. What do we got? Philip Pillan en route from Armadillo to the Bank of Saint Denis, eleven twenty-five. Regards. Oh gosh. Okay. 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 Um, I'm going to send him a, a letter close. All right, cool. Back. Send telegram personal. Philip Houlihan. Hey, Philip. Mr. Houlihan. Mother of Samsonite. I am currently at the tavern. What is this? Uh, north East? North East. In St. Denis. At a business. meeting there feel free to stop by or i can meet you when it's done boom i wonder if i get another uh telegram runner or if i have to like pay for it again i think i think he just sends you another one Actually, we should go by the bank just in case he's already there. He said 1125, right? So that's five minutes, six minutes ago. Sweet, we're going to have someone else pay the bank loan. We might as well just do the meeting in the bank. not here yet all right oh coffee so good oh look there's a gold piece right there
I'm interested to see if people find it. Oh, we're going to do my old school spot right here. Skirt. specifically because you told me I look homeless with it on so oh, you do. I'm gonna have a client showing up at the bank soon so all right let's get it rolling paying or borrowing uh paying back oh all right nice all right yeah I mean this uh first off I, I just want to start off by saying it uh it's really great to see everybody we love you too, together Rekha. here and in, in cell Oh, sorry. Bad at this as it is, buddy. You're not helping. <laughs> it's just good to see everybody back here in Marty's together. It's, uh... We've been through some shit lately, and it's been far too long, I think. Uh, everyone's been, uh... Some people have been off doing their own thing, and, and I understand that. We've been a little scattered with uh, a lot of things, particularly from, I think, uh... My own personal business, I think, sort of bled into people having to spread out uh, with the uh, legal issues. But uh, I really want to just circle the wagons and really get everyone back together and see if people are really still uh, looking to pursue everything that we talked about over the last few months. See where people's heads at and heads are at, and uh, I think come up with a plan. I think of how we can move forward and what everyone. Uh, Make sure everyone feels. I know we feel like we've had this conversation seven times already, but if uh, you know people have issues and want to discuss things, they need to you know voice them. We're not just people that work together. This started out as a as a as a family and a group of friends and people coming together, and I feel like we lost that somewhere along the way. I don't really have too much. You know, this isn't. Uh, I don't have an agenda. This isn't about business. I just want to, uh, you know, I wish there was a few others here. There's certainly a few faces that are missing. And uh, hopefully soon there'll be new faces. I, I don't know. I think I just want to hear what you all have to say. And it bears mentioning at this point, too, that as of right now, I don't think there's really any adversary to what we're doing. I know we've got a few bumps and bruises with uh, certain groups, but for right now, as far as Riker and I can see, we're in the clear with just about everything. It's a good place to be in. So, you know, that's part of having the uh, whole meeting, seeing where people want to go, seeing who's still in it. We, uh, uh I couldn't agree more. We, uh, we we haven't done much in my my personal business has been pretty uh pretty non-existent and uh, not that i care too much about it at the moment it's uh you know i've been more than happy contributing and, and helping sell out with the bank I, I i'm amazed to see where the uh where the bank has been lately and where it's going it's very impressive mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, we, we, we had a lot of momentum that we were building. I mean, think about it. This place used to be, there's what, seven of us here now? There used to be double that consistently. Maybe not double, but there was a solid dozen people coming through Marty's, us included. And this used to be a uh, a great spot in St. Denis and in the state. And uh, we really, really lost this along the way, and I don't know what happened. I mean, I do, but... Uh, I feel like there's only been certain people uh, expressing their opinions completely, and there's been a lot of confusion, and maybe, uh, I don't know. We had arm wrestling here. We had a damn near 30 people here. I don't know. <laughs> it's like it's, and like, like Bryn said, there's really no, I, as far as I can tell, if someone was going to, gonna sue me or take me to court or what happened already I, I don't really know what anybody be waiting for Dylan's left the state essentially as far as we can tell mm -hmm. not that we wouldn't uh, <laughs> love to see him sitting over there with his fucking newspaper 
trying to uh, teach himself how to read, but uh, I guess he's read by now. But uh, uh, stranger things have happened. Yeah, still can't believe he learned enough to be able to send you a letter. Oh, that is true. But uh, like Gregor said, I don't have any agenda for this, but. We've had a couple conversations recently, and I think, uh, I mean, a lot of it was losing momentum, but a lot of it does need to be going forward, growing numbers, having a uh, solid base of people who are around. I know a lot of us are around kind of later in the evening sort of thing, but uh, being around during the day some, being around when other people are. I'm definitely going to have a number of things going forward that on my side of the business at least will need to be taken care of. So, depends who's interested in that. I know Riker has some plans. I think Thomas might also have some plans for uh, uh, events, whatever else he usually does. Mm -hmm. Getting a good public opinion and a good... Uh, well, just having people know our name more than anything I think is important now. Like I said, there's no uh, obstacles, so there's no reason not to. As far as I'm concerned, the people that are in this room right now, this is it. If, the, if people are not here anymore, then they are not part of who we are. And one thing that I have learned is that whenever it feels like whatever you're doing is at a standstill, most likely there's another cog in this wheel that's actually... Go on, Softer. Are we sure we want to continue? Yeah, just give me a second. Sure, that's what we need. When we finally get moving, we have an interruption. I fucking stole you. I believe so. Yeah. Hmm. You know what? I don't know. Hey, so, mm -hmm. are you still up for that uh, St. Paddy's Day event? Yeah, I, th I think it would be pretty fun, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm just making sure you still, still want to do that. I would, you know, like, I can try and help uh, plan it as much as possible. But I, I, I would definitely, I can't really take the lead on putting it all together. No, no, yeah. But I think it would be a fantastic idea, you know, like we mm -hmm. could... Yeah, involve gold and stuff. Yeah, gold. Why don't we just call it Patty's at Marty's? <laughs> well, I wanted it to be like all around. Yeah, remember we wanted it? to do the parade around the... and everything? Yeah. Oh, I, I know. I'm just... Um, so Celia's here. He's just visiting. Of course. Okay. Because I, I, okay. we're having a, a, a serious conversation, so of, so of course this happens. What are you... what? Well, I mean, he's not here to cause issues, so... I don't no, know. he just no. means that every time we get into a serious conversation, something. there's something that comes up. Yes. Yeah, I know. It just... yeah, it's part of our issue of why some of us feel confused, why sometimes mm -hmm. we feel communications, you know, we we can't even communicate amongst ourselves. Uh, did Bobby fall asleep? He did, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Um, well, we can probably carry on with the meeting. I think he'll probably wake up soon. Uh, yeah. Does anybody mind if Salil hangs around? Well, I don't care. Yeah, genuinely. Is he going to be a part of our, this discussion, or...? He doesn't have to be if you don't want him to be. I mean, here's a question. Not, is he a part of Chamber of Commerce? No. No, of course he's not. Hey, look 
Of course he's not. Oh, yeah. hey, here's the thing um, though, like we have people like this and it pulls members of who we think is family here away. Like for instance I, right now, you know? I agree. And I understand. I can just have him wait by the bar for a little bit until we're done. I just hope you don't mind him being here. If you do, it's fine. I can talk to him. I'm okay with it, I guess. Let me, can I just talk to you for a second? Mm. As the owner of Marty's, I'm perfectly fine with it. Thank you, Doug. Oh, and I was uh, thinking about having another armor sling thing next week. I just gotta make a poster tonight. What do you guys think? Arm um, wrestling well, here again? Yeah. Yeah, I think it was fun. I like it. Yeah. yeah. What do you think <clears throat> about uh, doing it earlier in the day, though? I feel like you might get a, more people in a different crowd this time. Uh, it definitely depends on the day. Uh, Wednesday? I was going to plan an event every Wednesday. Oh, I see. I mean, I can't be around... Uh, or I can't be awake... All right, you know what I mean. I'm yeah. I sleep during that time, so <laughs> okay. On Wednesdays. Well, what are we talking about? What do you mean by during the day? Like, or not like this time? You know how usually we have events like at like later in yeah. the evenings, right? I yeah, think no, no, a I lot of people, a lot of people couldn't make the armless wrestling thing because it was. Um, they needed to go sleep. Shit, then. I mean, how many would we have had? This whole place was packed. Yeah, I mean, there was a train, uh, train ride there, too. People were waiting on the train. But also, you know, the people that, uh, were at the arm wrestling event last time, let's just say they're not on the best of terms right now, so that will never happen again. Hmm. So I think we should, you know, open up to different crowds. Sure. Try to try to have stuff early. I agree. It's just depending on what day it is, I'm gonna be asleep. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Yep. Well, yeah. yeah. Oh, and, this... and Go ahead, Tommy. I, I wanted to have events, just regular ones, every Wednesday. But obviously, we're gonna have more than just those Wednesday ones, like smaller events. And and uh, I can't remember who, but somebody recommended we can have like a, a picnic in the park, and maybe Li Lizzie could uh, be catering for that. Mm -hmm. Kind of just Good something idea. that brings people down here on the regular, like how how um like how Nag is doing like every Saturday at the Perch now, starting next month. And we should probably go to those every once in a while so that we can get to get to know them better, more than we already do. I mean, if Red is gonna be there, I got no problem going to that. Yeah. Oh, and I guess if Red's not, you know, dealing, then I'm sure Maggie will be there. So you, you got your connection with her there, Salvatore. Yeah. Yeah, but if you guys have any ideas, just let me know. Oh. Uh, what? I can't believe I forgot about this earlier when we were, we were talking about this. We were talking about Blackjack and everything. They, uh... I was looking through the public records, as, as I am one to do, as far as business licenses and such. <laughs> and, uh... Apologies. It's alright. Pretty sure... Uh, Redford's taken over the perch. I'm pretty so, sure I got a, a bit of a promotion with, within NAG. Did he shut down and take it easy? No, it's, nope. it's no. open right now. Take it easy. Yeah. Oh, is it? Mm-hmm. And he also filed for the license for the perch. And what I thought was interesting is, uh, was it is his daughter? Robin? No, that's, that's, his, a, that's wife. his wife. That's his wife. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, I saw Redford. She's filed for a Corona license. A what? For what? A Corona. A what? Uh, <laughs> is there an R at the end of that word? Yeah. A, a what? Corona? Corona. A Corona. Hey. Sal, Sal, say it with me. Corona? 
Oh, what? What? Well, how speak in English here, right? Core. Core. Honor. Honor. No. Corona. No. Corona. No, sir. Corona. Co-owner. This one is fine. Look, Crayola. somebody that takes care of dead people. All right, that, that whatever. Corner. The, corner. It, no, a corner. Corner. Yeah, corner. 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 Yeah. A corner. Yeah, corner. Die. All right. Oh that, so I said it right. Hey, you hey, 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 hey. Um, there's two guys at the bar, so just keep your voice done. We're talking about corners. I know. Yeah. Who the fuck is at the bar? Corner. Why the fuck? Are we talking about That's corners? A new meeting spot. Fuck this place. Hey, hey, hey. I don't think we've even started. Have we started? No, yes, we, we, we did. We did start, start but we certainly... We're about the future of us as people and as a family, all right? We want to know who's in. We want to know what the suggestions are. We want to know what people want to do going forward. Okay? Is someone yeah, let's, let's... Is who's serving them? Yeah, that's what I'm... He's by the, behind the bar right now. Someone's himself. behind the bar. Oh, my God. Uh, but, yeah. Yeah, let's take deep oh. breaths. Let's put our hands in the middle and let's like get a chant or something. Hmm. All right. Uh, I think I'm not talking too loud here, but uh, Raki, can you hear me for there? Yeah, you're fine. I'm, I'm All here. Right. All right. So what I was saying is, is the people that are here right now, this is it. This is what we got. If you're not here, you're not it any anymore. Mm -hmm. And uh, what I was also saying is what I've learned in the past. I felt that things have become stagnant. And that was like, you know, all, the only thing that I know about is what I'm in charge of. But I, then I found out that when things feel stagnant in my area, that means that most likely there is a cog in this machine that is moving elsewhere. So... When you start to feel like things get stagnant, don't be concerned. Because somebody else is doing something. Bryn? Did you want to say something, Bryn? Can you hear me over there? Yes. Okay. No, that was just me extending that as much as, you know, you're not doing something, I am doing something right. usually. I mean, that's, that's what exactly I, what you were saying. At first, I was like, okay, what the hell's going on? What are we not doing here? And then I come to find out later, whether it's a, a letter from Bryn or, or from someone else, that it, things are moving. It's just not something that I'm in charge of. And I am now okay with things like that. I think a large portion of what all of us here at this table need to understand is that we need to trust each other implicitly with whatever's happening, because it's exactly like Sal was saying. Also, by extension of what he was saying, I completely agree that this is it. These people right here. And as much as I'm talking about expansion or otherwise, this doesn't change. Mm -hmm. This yeah, is... into that. There we yeah. say this is the core. Mm-hmm. Which, which means each and every one of you's has a very important role here and you're valued and you're needed and if you ever feel like you're not we're family right so bring that up let's mm -hmm. talk about it every single one of you is someone i have and have been able to call on when i need you for things even you thomas i know we butt heads fucking more than anyone But that doesn't mean that you're wrong, and it doesn't mean that things aren't valued like they should be. Yeah, the last I checked, families sometimes don't get along either, but at the end of the day, we're still family. Mm -hmm. Look at this guy, say yo. How you doing, buddy? And I do hope everyone at this table still wants to and still considers going forward like we always went to. Because if you don't, not that, uh, not that there's any hate for that, but this isn't the life you want. Now's the time to say it. And in addition to that, and in tandem with that, 
Uh, there's a lot of positions open. You know, everyone here is more than willing, or more than willing and able to step up and contribute in any manner they want. We mm -hmm. we created this thing. We can tailor it to whatever we want to do. Yeah, and if you want to make your own role, then I. I, I your own endeavors, business wise. I offered Bria a position. She accepted it and completely broke my trust and and the faith that I had put in her. And uh, unfortunately, it seems like she's. I don't want to say corrupted, but uh, we're. I don't know. I don't know if we can put our faith or trust in Butch either. He's, he's not here right now. And no. As far as I'm concerned, he's guilty by association. I love the I love the guy. I've always felt like he was spectacular at keeping the bank safe and making me feel safe and helping things go run along on both sides of here. However, the choice has been made. And I don't see him here right now. As sad as I am to say that, but... Guilty by association. And Bree, we've given her plenty of chances. She's done. Do we have any opposition to me dealing with that situation as needed? Can you hear me, Bryn, over there? Mm-hmm. Okay. I know we've talked about this. The only... I don't know if opposition is even the word. The only concern I have with it is that uh, she's not around the city anymore. She, yeah, she's taken Butch. This the, that ship has sailed. Is it a necessary risk? I don't mean having to take a risk like that. I mean I need to keep an eye on it and assess it. And if it they, does become a risk, yeah, we need to keep an eye on it. Yeah, that's I agree. Mm -hmm. Monitor it and uh, mm -hmm. beyond that. Again, this is one of the things I mean when I say we all need to trust each other. That includes judgment. Oh, I understand that. Yeah, you know I trust your judgment. I was just uh. Mm -hmm. I think the best way to have uh, to monitor that is we get Sean to poke around the files in the sheriff's department. That's a very good point, actually. Tom, yeah. Tommy, you think you could do that? It. Yeah. Actually, I have a couple names that I would like him to look for. I can talk to you later, Thomas, but a couple of my names, just to see mm -hmm. if there's anything. Did anybody get that guy's name that's at the bar? He might be the guy that's looking to pay me. Two of them, do you want me to ask? If one of them is Philip Houlihan... That's the guy I'm supposed to be meeting. Don't think so, but let me see. Bobby, outside of uh, all the help you've provided us thus far, and obviously this being your your establishment, uh, do you mind if I ask where where, where everything stands with you and the Colts? Um, can you hear me still? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm. I need this to stay at this table because it's uh, my decision hasn't been made yet, but um, I might slowly start to pull away from the Colts. Hmm. For a couple of reasons in which um, I'll be quite frank and say I almost murdered one of them the other day out of anger, but um, Things are changing within the Colts, and um, I don't agree in the changes. So I'm not planning on, you know, ending it on a bad note, but I might uh, pull away from the group. Do you think that that transition is something that could put us at jeopardy? No. I the think Scarlet, I might... Scarlet is her own person, so if you're worried yeah. about the bank, I don't think it'll be an issue. No, I just I, I just don't want the rest of them like having us on a list or something after he leaves. No, no, no probably not. Mm. I, I mean, wouldn't be doing it on bad terms. Okay. Is this about the Colts? Mm -hmm. uh, is this about there, uh, Yeah. There is a... Uh, change of leadership coming and uh, I don't quite agree in it huh or as I'm one of the cult leaders I'm not going to mention names because nothing is uh, set in stone yet but one of uh, the most important cults are being removed from the cults hmm. 
and that specific individual is uh, essentially the one my allegiance is with. Well, that does put a damper on things for you. Yeah, and I have a uh, I have an inch of who's going to take over, and if that happens, uh, yeah, my time with Colts is one hundred percent done. Hmm. Well, no better time than now. Yeah, we need your help. Speaking of, that is Philip up at the bar and one of his friends. And they are apparently um, mercenaries for hire at the time. So, in terms of expansion, that might be a conversation I have with them. Likely, you know, testing yeah. the waters, but yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, if you want, you can join me and we can take them over to the bank after this. Uh, yeah, I think so. Now, Bobby, just so you know, if you need any help, just let me know. Yeah. Yeah. I will. Don't worry. It's not. You know, it's not. No, I understand. That's I just want bad terms. Want... Like uh, no. the first right. time I ended up with the Colts. I'll be right, right back. Okay. I gotta. Yeah. Um. And speaking of, thank you for the meeting. Whenever we get that done, but let them know I can be around. Literally whenever. Yeah. Although. No, actually, that's fine. Oh, um, actually, I'll wait till Thomas gets back on that one. Kid looked like he was about to shit his pants. A little bit. <laughs> I watched the Leela. Uh, to say hello to me and Vivian. Oh. He's gonna go around the city tonight, so I'm gonna have to go say hello to him again in a little bit. Whenever we're done here. Fair enough. Is that a private thing, or can I go with you? Uh, you can come say hello to Salil. <laughs> you know, I did tell you all I'm on good terms with literally every gang in the state, right? It's not... I don't know why this is surprising. I'm not surprised by any of it. Hmm. I'm not, I'm not surprised. I'm not. Great. I just, I don't know. Mm. What is it, Sal? I just, I don't know. It seems people are happy with their uh, relationship with the man. So I should just keep my mouth shut. You should probably say what's on your mind before I fill in the blanks myself. Not to mention, you did just say we should all, uh... Be honest. Mm-hmm. All right. If, if I'm being honest here, I don't like the fact that he pulled people away from this group. I mean, he's partially... In my eyes, he's partially the reason why we lost Viv for so long at Sisica. Well, not partially the reason. Only that. But... If I might defend that slightly... Uh, everyone in this group, I think. We all have, to some degree, ties outside of this family. Thomas does with Craze, Bobby and the Colts. Vivian never faced us. And uh, the... Riku, I guess you and I, I, we just have each other. That's... I mean, it's quite a lot of involvement, I will say. <laughs> but... I got you, so. As, as much as I have been opposed to it before anyone splitting their loyalties in any way. It has occurred to me that to a degree that I hadn't previously considered, having people with very multifaceted fucking social lives, as long as they're here and they're loyal when they're needed, 
It's useful. It's really fucking useful, actually. Everyone else is very insular. Everyone else... You know where they stand. You know where their loyalties are. Yeah. And again, it comes back to this table. And knowing the people who are here and trusting the people who are here. Sure. Now, if I know that I can trust every single fucking one of you, I don't have a problem with it. You know, maybe it's one of those things where it took me time to to understand that when my cog's not spinning, another cog in the machine is. Maybe this is the same thing, and I just need to be able to learn how to deal with it. It's very similar to that, I think. But at the same time, I completely understand the sentiment. And I think the Bryn that took the reins a month ago or however long would have probably had the same stance as you. You know, I see what happened in, with Butch and, and Brigitte. Mm -hmm. And I don't want anything to happen like that with us here. I agree. Uh, and I know what we said about Butch, guilty by association, but... Given some conversations I've had with him recently, I would ask that we keep the door open at least for a little bit longer with him. Yeah, I'm not closing that door on him at all, ever. Yeah, I mean, I, I wrote him a letter informing him of this meeting. He said he would try to make it. He... I uh, Nathan, doubt that he would come back. It's just a... This is role play in Red Dead. Mm -hmm. And we're having I a meeting about... Yeah. Weeks. I, I... He can probably come back. Some but business just, that we're doing. Maybe we shouldn't give him as much pri privilege as we did before. No. Right. And oh, and I want to be clear. I wasn't meaning to write him off, right? Like, the only one that I'm writing off today is Brigitte. Mm -hmm. I still mm -hmm. need Butch to do certain things for me personally, and I'm pretty sure that other people need that as well from him. So mm -hmm. I'm, I definitely feel like he's still an asset. It's just he is not a, a part of the core. He's not at the table. So yeah, Nathan, it's, it's, it's pretty crazy. Like you can be a criminal, you can be a, a law officer. No, as far as you uh, can be a regular civilian. Our contacts and, and getting involved with new businesses. Uh, I've reached out and have been contacted with a couple of different people. Uh, the new Henry, what's it, Henry Stowe, right, Tommy? Mm -hmm. The uh, person managing the new paper, the editor of the New Times Tribune, and uh, his business partner in the lottery, James Briggs owner of the manager of the Southern Transport Union. He does uh, ferries and wagon rides down to New Austin and stagecoach rides and all that. Um, and as well as the Standard Oil Company. So apparently some people are now running oil out of the Heartlands. So they want to come and do business down here in St. Denis and they, are, uh, they operate during the daytime. So I'm hoping to meet with them this weekend. If anyone is around and wants to yes. attend, I'll uh, let, let everyone know once I have the time. And mm -hmm. uh, hopefully um, we can start a trustworthy relationship with uh, with their two businesses and and get involved with them. I know Tommy. I don't know if you want to, if everyone here is up to date as far as your intentions with the paper. Um. Yeah. So since uh, my time that I was gone, I realized that I wanted to maybe take a step back with the newspaper, and as much as that's probably overall not the best thing to do it's what is best right now um so i'm taking a step down from the paper for a bit to um to just work on my writing and write for write for henry stowe for a bit and do some um side projects of my own and um i'm also going to be or i'm currently in the process of studying for the bar exam so um, mm-hmm Tommy Foster Esquire. <laughs> uh, yes, Bobby? You're going to work for Henry still. Can you make sure uh, that he fact checks his uh, I, articles yes, next time? Well, yeah, I know. I'm not going to work for him. I'm just going to every once in a while put some stuff in his paper. Just make yeah. sure my, my so, ad is seen in the paper. That's all. Mm -hmm. Look, then it's... And the reason I bring that up and, and ask Tommy to address that is because obviously one of the big benefits we were offering with the chamber was the advertising. So 
I think developing a relationship with the mm-hmm. operating paper as it is as it stands, mm-hmm. as well as uh, someone who's trying to run a lottery company, and uh, they seem pretty ambitious. And uh, developing that same relationship that we had with the Foster Papers with this new paper, and uh, having Tommy working with Mr. Stowe is, uh, I think, a great resource for us. And uh, Hopefully this meeting will go well. Uh, I know that the oil mm-hmm. company specifically, as far as uh, business down here, they want to run their oil outside of uh, export it out of my warehouse. So it should be uh, an interesting conversation, but uh, see how serious they are. It's just, uh, I think in our best interest, like Bryn said, make, uh, get out there and meet new people. I know myself, mm-hmm. I need to uh, get out of the city and uh, Tell you about lo- those picnics. Yeah. Have we have we Camping. put pause to our charitable uh, ideas? Not at all. I want to. Uh, I mean, as it stands, I, last I, conversation I had with anyone from the state rep was uh, state rep Jim. There, the government's looking to change some legislation surrounding charitable organizations, uh, but we should probably look to uh to get that underway sooner rather than later i yeah, mean it's, a, it's as simple change. as yeah it's as simple as uh you know i'd be willing to register it as far as getting a business license but i wouldn't maintain the monthly fee i would probably get the first license have it up for two months uh use that public filing to get the name out for the first few events and then just run it from there so uh, two things that I reached out to Briggs as well, and he's looking for some help from the bank, so I think that it would be really good. I don't know if I can make it, but if you wanted to meet on my behalf, then I would be open to that. Absolutely. Yeah, I have no problem extending him a line of credit. Yeah, and the other thing is, is should we handle this Philip guy real quick so we're not wasting any more of his time? Yes. We We should, uh, but I also think that you should uh, probably take uh, someone with you. Yeah, me and Brent are going to take him to the bank real quick. Someone with you, too, in, in addition. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sure. Okay. I mean, if, we're, if we want to take a break, we can all take a walk out of the bank. Uh, we can. I mean, I think the core of things is done. I think we're just talking. Yeah. Really, yeah. 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 Absolutely. I was gonna say, really oh, yeah. So I like, have another character that I play. Thing that I was going to follow up was just. Nathan, uh, that's a bounty Mormons, hunter, and you know, I love should, playing yeah. them. We should get down to planning Tell a me. few more things. And these guys in the other Picnics. room Picnics, are guns for yes. hire. Picnics, campings, and uh, I also want to yeah. take us on a uh, gold panning trip one day. Oh, mm. that'd be so fun. These can all so be related things. So serious about auctions. I'm going to go down to Trust me, Ooh, auctions, actually. Hello, yeah. fellas. Okay. Philip, I am so sorry to keep you waiting. Oh, it's all right. Don't worry about it. Uh, sorry, we just, just came here for a drink and all that. So. Oh, sure. Sorry, I was really close. Did you really get everything that you needed here? Or I can. Oh, we're okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sure. Yeah. I did. Would you mind uh, if we just take a walk over to the bank and uh? <sighs> and uh, Bryn told me that you, uh, you two, so I think you might have told me this before that you, you were did. like guns for hire, yeah. Yeah, hands for hire. Anything that's really hands needed. Up. Right, right, right. Okay. Yeah. I think she might actually have something that she wants to talk to you about as well. So. Sure. All right. Promise if I stab you, it'll be in the front. Yeah, whenever you're ready. Okay. No sure, we can head Wait. on over there now. Did you, you two uh, came in on horses? Okay. No, we walked. We left them at the oh, stable. Oh, I okay, can. sure. All right, well, let's, let's go ahead. All right. If y'all have horses, that's fine. We'll meet you there. I have my car, but I'll just leave it in the back. It's no big deal. Okay. So how you fellas doing today? I'm all right. Yeah, you? Not too bad. Not too bad at all. It's been a while since we actually been in Doyle's. We used to be in there all the time. Yeah. What the bar? Or yeah, the bar. Or... We we kind of mm. we used to do meetings in the back room, and uh, we uh, used to always have uh, tons of people in there, drink specials. Yeah. Okay. It was kind of like a a home away from home kind of thing. Yeah. Hey, I also had a, a business opportunity to talk to you about afterwards, too. Yeah, sure. Whenever you have a chance, whenever we're done. Yeah, I figured we would just all do it at the, the bank since mm-hmm. I know no, Bryn wanted sorry. to talk to you and uh, mm-hmm. we'll handle the loan stuff. How, how'd the loan do for you, by the way? It's good, yeah. 
got did, my wife settled in and uh, pretty much made the money back, you know. Fantastic. So you, d did you think that you needed to extend it like we originally discussed? No. All right. I think that was that was plenty enough. She she didn't even spend everything on that. I bought a horse with mine and, and that was it. You know, my end of it. That was it. So Nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we always we love hearing stories about uh how we you know our services help people get you know their feet on the ground yeah. yeah that's pretty much what it was i mean you know we made the money back and nasty good, neat nice <laughs> fantastic just trying to get this cleared up now you know were you looking to actually uh do the full payment back or yeah i have everything oh yeah. fantastic after you my What the f... Oh, good evening. Are you sure you understand? Like, do you know where you're at? Have you lost your way I'm, there, fella? I believe I'm in the bank of Sandini. That's right. Why not? I, I, you're also in my chair. Oh, this is your chair. That's it. That's right. It's quite comfortable. It sure is. It's made for, for my butt in particular. This was made for your bottom? For... Yes, for my bottom. Oh. Interesting. All right. Well, it's quite small for me, really. As I said, it was made f for you know, me. I will say the rule of thumb in regards to that is that your name needs to be etched in the chair somewhere. Hmm. That is an unwritten rule <laughs> in the book of life. <laughs> is your name etched in this chair? Go ahead. <laughs> you could look for it. Jesus, I didn't know you were this tall. <laughs> Your name's, uh... uh I can't really put my... finger on it. You'll probably get that. Just keep thinking as I look for this name. <laughs> Oh, initials. What's initials the, what does the unwritten rule say about a, a desk that has papers all over it with your name on it? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> well, I never claimed that the desk was mine. <laughs> you know what? How, you, uh, how about this? Come, f follow me here, fella. Uh, Salil, is that is that the name, right? There you are. All right, follow me. Come over here real quick. I want you to look at this door right here and look at what is on the on the front there. Now that might not actually be exactly. Now that might not actually be my name, but it is me. Well, you were not occupying it. I just thought, you know, it looks so comfortable and nice windows and the like. Oh, so you wanted to keep it warm for me. Sure, I mean, I suppose that's is a answer, yes. Well, then, in that case, uh -huh. I'm greatly appreciative of you keeping my my chair warm for me. Oh, you're quite welcome. Hello, Bryn. Oh. I Hello. thought I'd wait by the bank. Inside the bank? Inside the bank, yes. On, On my the chair. manager's chair. Yeah, there you go. It's, you know, it's a very nice chair. I thought so. A little small for me, but... Still it's nice, nevertheless. Comfortable. All right. If you excuse me, if I do have some business with some clients. Well, I mean, uh -huh. I, thank you. you. Did Did you have to have done that sitting down? Uh, I don't think he likes me very much. <laughs> <laughs> Would you mind shutting that door for me, there, Phil? Please. Sure. <laughs> I feel like his anger is as bigger than he is as a person. Not angry. All right. Anyway, sorry about that. It's all right. All right, let me see. Let me look at your papers here real quick. All right.
Let's see here. We you were looking and uh, we were doing ninety dollar payments. There's four of them, but the total is three hundred and sixty. Yeah, it was just about two weeks. I think actually to the day. I think. What's that? I have the total. I said, does that change anything, or is that is that still the same? I, I do have everything. So you know, let's. Why don't I take off half of the uh, the interest there? We'll we'll do three thirty, and we'll okay. call it good. Sounds good to me. There you go. <laughs> All right, let's see here. I'll just get you to sign this paper for me here real quick. Now, as I have a question <clears throat> uh, while I'm signing this paper. In regards to your business here, in regards to loans, mm -hmm. do you, you get a lot of business doing that, I'm assuming? Yes. The loans is uh, the most business that we get. Right, well, actually, I can't say that anymore. The gold exchange is uh, actually a lot of business that we have as well. Um, but loans is definitely popular. Okay. Now, if somebody fails to pay a loan, how does that work for you? Well, um, I'm going to be honest. We haven't had anybody not pay yet. All right. However, sure it's bound to happen. Yeah, it, um, it's Wait, something that it, we are definitely expecting, right? And um, mm -hmm. do you think he and that's actually might be something pens? that maybe and Bryn wanted to maybe talk to you since. Stamps? And they're like, your profession for the bank is that what it is um she's an associate of mine she's definitely not mm -hmm. somebody that's on the paperwork for the bank but is she mm -hmm. is somebody that that right, right. whenever we need somebody in that can handle certain uh, look, things look, look, right. we look to her yeah okay luckily we yeah, haven't had to do uh, anything like that yet but I will say, you know, <laughs> something I wanted to bring forward. We're documents. not, we're not really the security type of folks. We'll, we'll do Over any here. kind of work that comes across so our table, you know, grabs we'll, reasonably, pens. you know. Mm -hmm. But um, you know, we have a system for for things like this. So, like we work pretty good with businesses, um, and and clients who don't, you know, hold up their end of the bargain, et cetera. Even businesses on that end, you know, we're like we're pretty good with that. All piled up over so oh, nice. stack. something I can bring to the table for my group, and there's a lot of us and. You know, the contract. If we do come up with some sort of contract, it does. Uh, it does get. You know, everybody knows about it within the within the fold, and you know. Right, right. You know, I mean, you're I'm speaking plainly here. So. Well, I'm I'm glad you're coming to me now because now you took the words right out of my mouth. Probably the best time is, because we're actually is, looking. South, the final piece. We're actually looking for people mm -hmm. to like expand our operations here, and mm -hmm. you know we have. People on one side, the way I like to look at it is a yin and a yang, right? You have two sides, one needs the other. However, mm -hmm. sometimes, nice. you know, the left hand doesn't know what the right hand's doing. And that's by, that's Bruh. meant to be, right? Mm -hmm. So um, we it's actually might lot. have an opening for something what like that that it, you provide. It actually looks like he, it actually yeah. looks like he hasn't opened them. And, uh, it's a fancy uh, term, it would be loan shocking, but whatever, you know. Yeah, yeah. Whatever you want to call it, we have a system for it. You know, it depends on what it is, you know. Of course. And, you know, as we're doing this whole loan business, we're starting to kind of learn the ins and outs. Like, we used to just do but monthly payments. We had a now, fella come I in, down is and uh, he took a large yeah. sum, and then no contact was back from him for a while. Right. So, like, we've learned, you know, we're changing things up there. Sometimes, and, like, another yeah, thing that's kind of, know kind of like loan shocking is, like, if people are missed payments... We're going to attack on more interest, right? And that interest is actually going to help pay for people such as yourself to collect. Um, let me see if Bryn wants to come in and chat with you um, about it a little bit more. Because yeah. that's kind of like something that's I would like to leave more on her hands. Yeah, I know she she wants to talk um, along, about buddy. an opportunity. And, you know, I'm I don't sorry. want to take up the office or nothing if... if if we rather go somewhere else, that's fine. That? It doesn't have to be now. You know, it doesn't have to be here. Going on Whatever. Here. You know, it's up to you. I'm, I'm yeah, I mean, aware. unless you, if you have time, I can bring her in. Yeah. I just, it seems, oh, time, yeah. <laughs> it seems like we have a lot of uh, un, unwanted visitors today. So hold on one sec. Yeah, no problem. Here's what it is, friend. Oh, excuse me. Damn, Sal. Oh, sorry. I was going to knock on the door, man. Oh, Jeez. um, is, where's Brennan? Hey, Bren, did you want to have a, a chat with Mr. Houlihan real quick? Uh, 
uh, yeah, I can actually. Sure. He's so small. Don't. Uh. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Mm. You can talk to me as after Mr. Salvatore. I don't plan on going right. anywhere. Hello, Mr. Ulan. How you doing? Good, good. I just wanted to uh, ask you a little bit. Sorry. Yo, a crack a panda. I'm just curious about what exactly you said your uh, boys were doing. Well, we're our own outfit, independent. Um, we do our own thing. Um, main way we make money is um welcome welcome raiders how are you holy smokes table. look at you you know we're, how you doing craig abandon how's it going buddy to put it plainly no i'm asking this without prejudice either way is that mm -hmm. no. strictly within uh, the i have no i have no problem or... you know <laughs> um I, I don't care no we're no you know we're good men but we do what we have to do at the end of the day uh, Nathan over there on uh, Facebook. Uh, so yeah, there's people that actually have that too, and sometimes you hear them. And some people are very professional, and they just they let their kids, you know, make noise. And we understand that other people have lives and stuff, so it's all good. Situational dependent, you know. How was your stream, crack? So it's not like we'll be hired for something uh set in stone you know like mm. security and things like that, that that comes on an as needed basis you know what i mean mm -hmm. so it's not stable you know what i mean we're, we're, not, we're not gonna get paid weekly or nothing it's it's by an event or, or what it is you know what you need it for that day specifically or whatever you know i was Long talking time. to um the manager here and saying that uh <laughs> you know i was i was bringing up the fact that i'm sure loans are popular and people aren't going to pay loans and we're, we're good for that we have a we have strategies in place for when we work with businesses like this you know yeah um, thank you for the follow eternal so that's uh, yeah. fine you know we we do what we have to do um we're very we're very noble so we understand that you know we're, we're not ruthless you know what i mean so putting that aside is um we do things within the confinement of the law but we're not going to sit here and let it dictate who we are and what we do you know what i mean I if that I makes sense i yeah. understand that stance yes uh, like i have no problem doing shit. you know and, and at the at the end of the day we're very respectful we're very noble very very humble people um it don't matter who you are you know if if we can do business fine um you know, and there's a lot of unfriendly people in this world. And it don't matter who it is, you know. Mm. Shit happens. It does happen indeed. Yeah. Can I ask how many of you there are running a around lot. these days? A lot. Yeah. Oh, As of recent, what it is, is um, we're coming from a different uh, country. Okay. Um, and a lot of us are still coming off the boat. So it's very, you know, it's very cut and dry right now you know we're trying to build everything back up again and all that you know where we come from we were very known for things and this and that but we came over here for more opportunity um i understand you know the state has a lot more a lot more um flexibility when it comes to business and things like that so mm -hmm. well i do respect that of course uh, and I would be remiss to not tell you that, you know, Chamber of Commerce says we are business focused. We do have mm -hmm. certain branches outside of that, but we like to keep St. Denis pretty safe and pretty mm -hmm. quiet, you understand. Mm -hmm. And I have no umbrage to whatever your business is outside of the city. Otherwise, you know, mm -hmm. and again, I'm not accusing you of anything illegal or otherwise, but I do know, understand. I, I will let you know that we're going to be taking hole up in the uh, up in roads. Um, you know, having production and getting mm -hmm. a name out there in, in that town, building that rapport, starting somewhere and, and, and going with it. That's what we did before. That's how we got out. Well, so, so you know, is, is well outside Saint might have some uh, mercenary dudes here. Uh, uh, Nathan, for yeah. me, I wouldn't find myself in a situation in a I bank. Like He's more of lives off, lives off the land. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of people that live off the land like that, too, for sure. Absolutely. Pretzel Sticks, thank you so much for the raid. You know, not that we necessarily have 
something of the same. Hubba Bubba, what's going on? Fuck howdy, howdy. In Saint Denis. Good night, Doe. I would uh, welcome you to contact me. She mm -hmm. doesn't need anything. Contacts, information on things, more guns for whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, call it what, what a glacier. Doctor Glacier. How we really get around? The How's everybody is, doing today? You know, for what we do is we just you know, we're hands for hire. Good night, Bobby. Because you know, you know how it is. Like <laughs> oh we yeah. Good night. And ask us, they're curious, what's going on with the sash, this and that, and you know. Monster Hunter rich. World. I, I heard that, you know, I'd be rich, but um, it's it's uniform when you wear an outfit, you know. And mm -hmm. we've been called many things, and we've had we've gone through many walks of life. We we've gone through a lot of shit to get to where we are today. But you know, at the end of the day, it's about survival and um and, and just building up, you know. Mm -hmm. So that's that's what it is. But yeah, I mean, if we we could stabilize something, I'm not saying we can't have contracts in place, but you know, we'd have to we'd have to sit down and discuss something. Yeah, that's um, a bigger conversation, absolutely. Yeah. But yeah, you know, I will say it's very good to meet you, and I'm glad that we're largely on the same page about things as well. Of course. And what'd you say your name was again? Ed? Bryn. Say again. Bryn. B R Y N. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Um. Yeah. Most of the people you can ask for Mary around here. Most of the okay. people know me as that, but you know, friends and. Uh, Right. Esteemed clients of the bank and whatnot. Um, Mary. Yeah, that was about all I really wanted to ask you about, just because I okay. haven't seen you around. Was there anything specific you had in mind at this time? Nothing at the moment. I like to okay. know who my neighbors are. Okay. Uh, this here to my right is uh, is Bill Bill Huxton. He's uh he's one of my uh, supervisors, as you would say, you know, in in a in a common term. Um, He's one of the. He, he will be one of the main contacts for for contracts and everything. So yeah. it'd be good to get his information as well. Yeah, it's a pleasure to meet you, sir. Huxton, was it Bill Huxton? Mm, Arthur. The last name on mine is uh, Keith as well. K E I T H. So send a letter whenever. But uh, all right. Fall boys are going to be around roads. I'm sure we'll see each other a good bit. No. Yeah. I gotta start somewhere. It's it's tougher in this in this country, but. We'll it figure is. it out. No. Uh, I will say, you know, not that you're a gang for such, but you're certainly an organization. And, uh... Yeah, we, we've been called everything in the book. It's <laughs> fine. Yeah. I'll, uh, keep to the polite terminology as of right now. I understand the implication, though, but things are a little fraught with danger right now. Freedoms right. and whatnot. Everyone's mm -hmm. up in arms. But introductions, shaking hands, whatnot, again, let me know if I can help. Of course. I always prefer having friends over enemies. As do we. We all know complications happen, no? You're going to have that, that one person who just comes around and happens everywhere, no matter where you go. <laughs> Speaking of, actually, I will say this isn't a contract or any mm -hmm. such thing like that. There are a number of boys, I think, still running around. They're based at a Saint-Denis. They came by a little while ago and gave us a considerable amount of trouble. Uh, Boys, as in children? Then no, the ones no. that uh, the ones that are in the alleyways. Oh, okay. Ah, because those those fellas are sneaky too. Oh, they they're sneaky as fuck. But yeah. uh, no, the uh, Dapper Flats, they're called. I'm not sure uh, how much they're around now, but Jack yeah. Harrison. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So. Oh, I'm just trying to stir shit. Is everything right in there? Yeah, everything's fine. Are these fellas are like, you know how you're talking about expanding? Yeah, I know. I just tried to walk inside your office about five minutes ago, and one of them walked in front of me and said, Go, I don't think so, buddy. Yeah, he's just very protective of his uh, boss, hmm. so to speak, I guess. Okay. Everything's fine. Yeah, everything's okay. good. I think Brent's what, got what, this. What's their names? Uh, Philip Houlihan. He's the one that I did a loan with me, and now he's he's looking for work. He's he's basically someone that we could uh, rely on to go and uh, chase money down that's not being paid. What's his uh, associate's name? Um, just that's new. It's not the same one that he came in the other day with. I didn't I didn't quite catch it. Okay. All right. But he's like his quote-unquote supervisor or something. Don't let me, uh, 
take you anywhere. Go, you can go back in. Sure, I'm sure. Making sure everything's all right. Oh, I'm so happy to see Viv put her mask on. Uh, she's not Viv. Oh, okay. To a reasonable lawman afterwards. And it was fine. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, like I said, that's just an example. Respect at the end of the day. Uh, looking for trouble, but, it, you know, people cross the line, that's it. You know what I mean? It's It happens. I am neither looking you know? for trouble with them either. No, but I'm not. I will tell yeah. you, they will bring you trouble before anything yeah. else. Oh, of course, and it's going to happen so... no, matter who, no matter who you are and where you are, it's, it happens. You know? mm -hmm. No, I agree completely. And, you know, with respect to the difference between a boss and a leader, Salvatore and any of the rest of them can definitely assure you that I'm the first one through the door every mm -hmm. fucking time. Mm -hmm. But, that said, no standing contract or anything like that. Just keep an eye out for them. I know they're yep. in trouble and causing if trouble. If y'all ever wanted to put something in place, just reach out to me. Uh, you can reach out to me. And we'll I'll be honest, the out. only reason I'm not putting something in place right now is I think they're, quite honestly, shot to shitting on their last fucking legs. Mm -hmm. But, precautionary, if you see them around, I would... Very much appreciate a letter, if nothing else. Yeah, well, you know, what do they wear? Flat caps? Flat caps, black yeah. on black, quite like me. Right. Oh, you talking about the flapper jacks? <laughs> yeah, the very same. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was about it. Thank you already for that, even if it's, you know. So, nothing. the reason why I approached you, Mr. Cassini, as well, in regards to, um, the whole loan shocking aspect is, like I said, we've done things like that for many businesses before, and we do have a system behind it, depending on who, who the client is that we're retrieving the, um, you know, items from and whatnot, depends on the level we handle it, and, and we, we, we do it through stages, too, you know what I mean, like, the first time I'd just be like, hey, we show up and, you know, show a force, hey, you owe Mr. Cassini some money, you better go pay that up. Second time could be a little different. You know, it depends on who it is. You know, I love it, it depends on, you know, and like I said, we're very, very noble, charismatic individuals. Like, you'd be surprised how many times we talk ourselves out of situations or, or you know, it, it just goes easily. You know, I'm not saying that shit hasn't hit the fan before, as they say, but. Well, it, right. mm, it always does, but. I love it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, we I went. On my end, we have a couple of fellas that m might actually need a little bit of a, a fire under the ass, if you will. And uh, <laughs> like I said, like, and, and, and the thing with this is it's it's situational. It, it's contract based. You know, you're gonna have just that one odd apple out of everybody, and that's fine. You know, and, and we can establish something like that if you like. You know, where you put certain details in a letter or something or whatever. You know, and right. that's fine. That's that's enough. You know. So I'm just, I'm just letting you know, like we have a system behind it. Yeah, absolutely. You're gonna have those. You're gonna have those that don't answer you and that don't do this and that. Especially if it's a large sum of fucking money, you know. Yeah, yeah. You know what? It, and I guess, you know, like you said earlier, like if we come when we get to that time where it's actually time to start, like, you know, prodding them a little bit, I'll shoot you a letter and then uh, I'll, I'll let you, you know, take it on as within your process. Okay. And and even if you don't want to discuss it over a letter, we can go for a meeting or whatever. Sure, you know, sure, it's fine. Like I said, I'd have myself a bill. He'd probably be the better contact for it because he is the one managing contracts um, in this district. So of course. Fantastic. And, uh, yeah, you can always write to Mystic Cini, but like yeah. I said, if you ever need mm -hmm. to meet or anything, I am quite often around. And again, Bill, oh, we're all, they're from all over, you, man. Any of your people. It's More, definitely a yeah. good stepping stone as to when Mr. Cassini needs him. Yeah, like I said, we're, we're just trying to get started, you know, started up ourselves, and we're not going to accept anything too major right, right off, uh, you know, right immediately, but mm -hmm. we're, we're going to do what we can, you know. If we can't do it, we'll tell you, you know. We'll tell you, hey, we might need a little time. This and that. We're, not, we're not the type to, you know, bite off more with the chew, you know. We're, we're not... We're, we're reasonable, so... Well, 
as long as I'm not hearing that I'm going to have to have a gang war in Saint Denis over fucking turf, then you know I think we're on good fucking pages. <laughs> worry about that. Exactly. Yeah. Like I said, we usually keep to ourselves. So. Mm -hmm. And you know I have people coming off not the boat, not the day, not the week. So yeah, I don't take time, but we'll we'll get back up there. Yeah. Well, it was good meeting both of you, and it was Absolutely. good. Uh, getting feet on the ground in terms of uh, all this between us. I, I, I will say, I do have another person in mind as well that you can contact, but I'll wait till mm -hmm. you meet him. Um, I will say, uh, if you see people with purple sashes, anything business related, you just keep it between the contacts that you have, which is, of course, right now, just me and Bill. I um, would ask the same, okay. honestly, between me and uh, Salvatore, you can talk to him, or Riker out there, the mm -hmm. ginger, yellow jacket, I think you met him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's your head of security, isn't it? Again, he is a uh, board of directors of the Chamber of Commerce. Oh, okay. And he's also a, a counsel for the bank. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah, like I said, you know, you might see people in purple sashes, anything business related or, or, or whatever, just handle it directly with the contacts, please. Sure. It, it's just easier that way. Of course. You know. I completely understand, once again. Good enough for me. Billy, mm -hmm. what was your last name? It's Bill, and it's Huxton. H-U-X-T-O-N. Well, boys, it was a pleasure. Of course. If you're going to look to send him telegrams or whatnot, you would have to use his formal name, William. Which is first. William. Yeah. William, okay, thank you. It's a pleasure. Pleasure's all mine, man. It's a pleasure, miss. Perfect. I am certain I will be seeing you boys around. You sure. ride safe tonight. Thank you, now. You too. Pleasure meeting you, Bill. You too, my friend. Philip, as always. Nice to see you. It's a pleasure. Pleasure, sir. Yes, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Of course. Thank you. All right, Bill. And that's how we make money. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's how we do it, people. Let's get a bit boring staying in this room. Nick, don't even start it. Don't even start with me, Nick. Tell you what. Oh. Amen. All right. Oh Let my push. God. Oh, howdy. Not that guy. Oh, oh. let me see. We're, I don't even have the, the scene up. This Come is, the, I've been waiting for this. Here we go. We'll do the, uh... Come in, Nick. Hey. Come in here, Nick. Hey, you come in here and you're telling, saying I'm boring. We're, we're doing like, like, uh, bank work. Doing? This is, this is what we're doing. This is what we're doing. You got, you got to deal with it. All right. Now we're back. How you doing? I don't know. Why the fuck well, is Salio in here? He's by the fire. You got you. It's a bank. You got a, you got a fireplace. It's a public bank. No, ask, him if, ask, listen, ask him if he wants to buy some listen, gold. Listen, the motherfucker was sitting in my chair. I come in here with clients, and he's sitting in my fucking chair, Riker. So let's so go fucking talk to him, Sal. He's just a fucking man. Uh, he ain't no fucking. He's just a guy in a fucking mask, so. <sighs> Nothing, nothing's gonna fucking happen. Right, Doug? Right. Sal's pissed that fucking Solia was sitting in his chair when Doug came in here with clients. I said. And yourself? Oh, small bank manager. Listen here, pal. I'm listening. I don't appreciate coming into my bank and I have clients and you're sitting in my chair. I feel like it was a little bit disrespectful. I don't come into your workplace and sit in your chair. And that's why I feel like a little aggressive there. 
Well, I did not see you as aggressive. Hello, Mr. Riker. Evening, Salil. Hmm. Anyways, is there something that I can do to help you, Mr. I Salil? Know. I want to get back to the conversation before. Were we having a confrontation? I was letting you understand how I felt it was very disrespectful that you were sitting in my manager's office in my chair, especially when I'm bringing in clients and doing business here. Well, I did not know you were bringing in clients. That's not the point. Oh, is it not? I think the point is whether or not I'm conducting business in here, that's not your office. That's not your chair. Yes. I was just gauging her reaction. Don't worry. You are very lucky. I like her. Now she's a great, great person, isn't she? Aside from being difficult, yes. Difficult? I, I don't seem to think that she's difficult at all. You're the oh, only person who thinks that. That is either a lie or a joke. I'm, I'm not laughing. A lie, then? I'm not lying. Is he being genuine, Bryn? I don't think anyone in this room finds me difficult. Except you. That surely cannot be the case. What of you, Doug? Do you find her difficult? No, not really. Oh my, oh my, what have you done to these people? I think they like me. Well, Go mafia too, on it. You're still difficult. Riker, am I difficult? Nick, uh, if you came in and robbed that. this place, oh. you would be in like Shit's Creek. Are. There we are, see? Uh. Good try, almost. <laughs> But are you okay? But oh yeah, I'm just I'm just enjoying myself. Uh huh. Is Sal about to put shots down in the range? Mm -hmm. No. Just enjoying the view. Which? Oh, oh this game boots. has a lot of Which bad guys, boots? Nick. I just have a lot of bad guys on my side. Rikers boots. <laughs> Which is what? Vivian skirts. Just everybody. The, the everybody tile right now. I'm just it's quite lovely. Huh. <sighs> Have you been digging into my stash behind the piano? No. <laughs> Feels like it. Sometimes I gotta relax. Uh huh. Sal, so, don't you? Don't you? Sorry. This don't wood that add, I got from saffron is fantastic. Don't add logs oh. to that fire in front it, of me. It it burns so good. Buying wood it's, from saffron, um... Mitchell. What the fuck's wrong with you? What's wrong with buying wood from Miss Mitchell? Oh, I, I actually, I like that, that you said that. Thank you. Uh, is, is that an issue? I didn't... It's well, wood, is it not? Riker might own a lumberyard. Oh. Rob the place and set it on fire? Jesus! So buying wood from someone else is a little... Hey, Nick, it's already happened. Redundant? Just they don't uh, just, do it whenever yeah, I'm around. To conf conflict of interest or some such. By the way, you want bad well, I guys? I don't see a point in paying for it when he owns a lumber yard and he just gives them all the drop. Yeah. This guy with the it's mask kind of on issue. is one of the cruelest bad guys in the game. From fucking Saffron Mitchell. It oh, actually I smells I actually, terrible too. I met yeah. her at the lumber yard. She tried to walk away from me. I heard. Didn't work. She ran away from me three times now. Well, you're quite scary. With your Apparently. small stature and your little gauntlets. <laughs> I'm sorry. That... Uh... It's the uh, previous bank owner. He's dead. Oh. Oh, 
Oh, tell the yeah, tell tell the the, the yeah. story. You see the the urn oh, next Jesus to you. Jesus Christ! Oh, no, that's a, that's uh that's him right there in there. And I was this starting one? to get yeah. excited. Butch was here. That's the previous. That's the previous <laughs> owner. And the one right here is the one you know before that one. Oh, so when this one is to pass away, will he be in the middle instead of this clock? Uh, actually, I think he might be in the other shelf because in there there is another urn that has uh you know another body in it. Where am I going? Uh, inside the bank. Oh, I let. <clears throat> right. Is he May I room? please enter your office, Mr. Bank Manager? Why, yes, Mr. Celio, go right ahead. Thank you for asking. Oh, you're quite welcome. And look to your left. To my left. On top shelf, right there. No. Oh, I see it. All right. Shit. This fucking guy. What? Uh, you, what? You, you spoke your piece, man. It's all right. You know what's weird? I don't feel good about it. Why not? How about him? I don't feel good about the man. I don't like how he's walking around in my bank. And the tone of his voice, I don't know, just something about it. Listen. Well, <sighs> Salvatore, this is the... Our one. horse is... Oh, okay. Is that yours? Yeah. What is happening? I, I got it. Listen, this is the one and only time this is going to happen. What am I supposed to do, though? Like, I can't I'm let him... I'm going to apologize to you because I am very sorry that he is acting this way. And I'm going to tell you that there's nothing that we can do about it. And I'm going to apologize again because it's my fault. What's your fault? That he's here. Yeah, but, I mean, it's not your fault that he thinks that he can go and sit his ass in my chair. He thinks he can do that with everything all the time. Well, I gotta... I gotta he breaks just, into deputies' offices today. He's got to something coming. He's, I'm not gonna let that happen here. I don't give a shit who he is. I need you to not get shot. I will talk to him about it. Look, all I'm asking for is a little bit of boundaries. I understand. And a little bit of respect. I'll give him respect when he gives me respect. Right now, I don't feel like I was respected. You were. For him. For him. Look, if I don't... If this I, was anyone else in New Alexandria, I would have shot him myself for you. All right? Sure. I, sh I, I don't want the guy dead. I just don't want him sitting in my fucking chair. As you have every right to do. I completely understand. That is why I'm apologizing for this because it's a very definitely case. Nathan come De yes definitely. All right, I'll cool down eventually. Just do it for me, Sal. Not for him, for me, please. All right, so chill out. All right. I will do what I can to make sure it doesn't happen again. But I'm not gonna lie to you and promise that, okay? Uh, look, it's more or less, I just want him to know that I'm not gonna be a pushover. Like, I said what I said. Reich is right. I said what I said, and I, I'm I'm done. Like, I'm not gonna have odd feelings for him. And like, I'm not gonna be, I'm, like, I'm not angry. I just hope that we can see eye to eye. And if either one of you make a fucking short joke right now about that? I was not even thinking of one. Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, you made it by saying that. I don't have, no one has to say anything because you just Look, said Look, I just wanted I to get out in, fr in front it. of it. That's all. Mm -hmm. Jeez. I just, I feel like we can draw this line, we set boundaries, and then we both can be cordial to one another. I agree. All right. I will speak to him, okay? Sure. You know, Sal, I, I, I gotta say, before we go back inside, I really can't believe that you thought that we would make a short joke in that moment. You know, that's that's really beneath oh, us. Oh, okay. Oh, right, mm -hmm. right. Just mm -hmm. like you. That mother... He skipped. I got Listen, it. if it makes you feel any better, Salil has a habit of standing directly behind me every time he uses his binoculars just to prove that he can see completely over my head. That's terrible. That's not you know, who he is. You know, okay. these tall people need to understand what it's like to be a short person and what they like, how they treat us. 
I'm taller than most women, Salvatore. Mm. Mm. I'm, I'm not leaving no. alone. And, and what the hell was he looking back at you like? Was he expecting you to say something? Yeah. Uh, what the f... I'm trying... Yeah, just throw him in the gutter. Do not. Fucking hat blew over here. Jesus Christ, boys. Uh, we have yourself for five fucking minutes. What? Where, where, You're coming down here punching here. people. <laughs> first off. No Sal, first don't, off. Don't Get over here. No first this, off. You're right, Doug. I'm fine. I did that on my own free will. He didn't tell me to do shit. Oh, I, I didn't think that he did. What the hell was wow, that? You were really not ready. What the hell was that? Again. Yeah, you never know. That's all I'm saying. Whole exercise. You have such wonderful games. Coach. Thank you. Such wonderful I'm... exercises and the like. Yeah, I'm pretty pretty good at these things. Can I also play this game with you, Bryn? No. Well, Why not? it's my game, so I give you permission. All right. Well, there you are. Now you think I'm going to punch you soon, but it might not be soon, or it might be soon, and I'm just trying to throw you off. <laughs> Or I might walk towards you right now, and then punch you. Someone get a wagon and run these or people over. Nick, you were crazy. You were crazy, Nick. What? What the fuck happens? I just went outside, and they're all... Uh... Who's tired? <laughs> Where's she going? Do you think we could get her to do a foghorn in person? Oh, Perhaps. yes. Oh, Probably. Yes. What is it? What is it? What is... Okay, so you have a duet. So what's more than uh, two people doing at the same time? A triet. Triet? Yes. I, I feel like that's not right. Uh, no, it's I believe so. Okay. I think it's just a chicken trio. No, trio. trio. It's people sitting in trio. my office. Okay. okay. Oh, there she is again. Bridge. Did, did you get the name of the singer? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. okay. So yeah, Nathan, uh, you have to align yourself. You got to make connections. Um, to oh, wait, to Basically, I'm kind of she, somewhat she's untouchable or something like that. You give her It'd be a loose cannon. There's loose form. cannons, man. There's definitely loose cannons. If if this guy wasn't friends with my friends, he would have killed me just then. Can you try? By how I was talking to him. But oh, I worth a try. But I kind of know that. So boring. In character, I know that he's not going to touch me. So Good I just question. I tell him how it's going to how I how Good Salvatore question. would tell him. Why is she so boring? This is what happens when you can't lock your office. Yeah. But we didn't, we've been down that Sucking road. Teeth, be, it used to be locked, anything. and then I got in trouble for having a key. Nope, now she's leaving. What are, you, what are you slapping me on the back for? I'm going to go uh, play the game with her now. Oh, fantastic. Butch, how you doing? <clears throat> that is a very difficult question sometimes, but right now I'm doing A-OK. -okay. the hell oh yeah it's a little gift a gift Given to me yes who gave you this uh, that gift cult. oh the cult came after you and Bree. yeah just me her and uh an off-duty deputy Did well you... first of all they were chasing us all fucking night and no one decided so to... short yeah and no one decided to come because I, I sent telegrams all the sheriff's deputies and no one decided to come and then finally during like basically the end of the night they, they showed up in valentine i was trying to get a doctor for her and it was just me her and she was a back of my horse another off-duty deputy they come full charge with us while guns out and so we run outside of valentine across a bridge shoot oh, out whose head is this shoot out incurred and the shot that killed my horse Got thrown off. Jesus. Uh, they shot up. They shot Brand to the back. Good night, Escon. She heart stopped. They brought her back to life. But I got uh, tossed off the mountain and my face got smashed into the rock. Frankie, thank you so much for sharing the stream. Damn it. Oh, yeah. It's a great time. I wish I wish we would have known that, that they were going to come after you. It is what it is. 
I ain't gonna get anyone, everyone involved. What do you mean? I mean, I ain't gonna put you all at risk of that. They're here in St. Denis. Wait, St. Denis is our city. Right. Yeah, I'm with Sal on this one. And they uh, fucked you and Bree up. Yeah. And this is the same group that Brigitte came and talked to us about that she was having problems and Doug and I offered to handle it then. And we were told, no, no, don't do that. Yeah, she doesn't want us to do that way. And even after this. So what exactly does she plan with tomorrow being the day? Um, well, there's there if they don't leave, I guess I, I ain't too sure they're, they're having much of meetings with deputies and <clears throat> yeah, trust me, I've already tried it and I got fucking shit on by every goddamn person I know I'm doing it. So I will no longer be doing that. I saved the deputy's lives and they uh, deputies charged me attempted murder. I just don't understand why I had to go that that far. We were all, all right. capable enough to help Brigitte when she first came to us in Doyle's about it. Yeah. And I, now all I'm all I'm hearing and seeing is that the person that used to be on on the papers of being my head of security has now a missing eye. More people are involved, and more people are getting hurt. It just it it just doesn't make sense to me. Yeah. Hey, uh, I don't know what to tell you. I really don't. I I I think if if Brigitte would have listened to us from the get-go. Um, this one problem with that. Here's the problem with that. When this was all told to you guys, or at least a couple of y'all, she essentially was told that she's a liability and she's to fuck off. That is not what happened. Uh, I, I'll, that's just what I'm relaying. I've been told. Uh, she told me I, that even too. Though, even though, uh, yes, of course, others have said this to me, that that's not what happened. But again, you know, she was told to, I was there for a certain conversation where she was told not to be in St. Denis at all. I don't want to speak out of place. The only reason that I know of that she may have been told that she's a liability is the fact that she was uh, associating herself with a lot of other gangs and doing crime after she had taken a position that was like likely to be a, a voting board seat. Right, but from my understanding that she stopped doing crime when she got offered that. But from, well, well what, I, but did what she? I know is that yes, whether or not she stopped the crime and that she was trying to be befriend the Night Raid, she specifically wrote me letters after the fact that after the position yeah regarding the night raid and that she was trying to befriend them and uh that she was asking around for information about some of our associates and other gangs and what information she could relay so if she was looking to specifically talk about us and other people that we're associated with and their information that's a liability that's the only thing i could see i mean we offered to help. I mean, even after her, she told us everything that night in the in the bar, and we went back here to Saint Denis. I, I unfortunately had to uh, go to bed early, but if, from when I left the conversation, and this was, I think, probably the last civil conversation, and even conversation of length I've had with her was that we offered to help, and uh, when she basically terminated her position, as it were, she did it via letter to me. I haven't really. I've seen her around. We, we went on the boat that evening, but we haven't really haven't had a chance to. Uh, you know, she hasn't really said anything to me of substance. Yeah, I mean, it's probably because of the fact that she was told she'd be killed. See that I can't speak to. 
Exactly. That's why she has not even come close to any of y'all. No, I, the way I, I, I have been told, and of course, granted, there's three sides to every story, right? Yeah. I know that Brigitte says that somebody said that she was, that threatened her life and that she should never come into St. Denis again. I also know the other side, however, where it was a choice was given. Two options. Mm. Either you take a, a legitimate job and you stay straight and you don't be going around robbing things and, and talking to other gangs, or you're a liability and you need to not associate yourself with us and stay out of St. Denis. As possibility, yes. And if that's a possibility, then I believe that the possibility is, is that Brigitte made that choice. She made the choice to take herself out of St. Denis then because she didn't like the other option. Right. We're talking about somebody that complained about people, members in this room and outside of this room, I guess, were doing things that she thought was wrong. But then she, from what I'm hearing now, she's going off and doing the same exact shit. I mean, I, yeah. I understand her frustration when, and, and as well as yours, but the both of you wanted to, uh, to move on the perch. And at the time that, you know, th other things were happening and it probably wasn't the best time to do it, but we probably should have. And, and you know, lost the, the location that she had enthusiasm about. And, uh, but she was still making great contacts. And I think we made that pretty evident. She was doing a great job of talking to a lot of people. Yeah. I mean, and one of my best people that is doing the gold exchange here is because of her. She, she had, she was getting, she was having value. And then all of that, I just feel like was thrown out the window. Mm -hmm. Y'all know the reason why she's doing the robberies? She told me that she was trying to get killed. Yes. Which absolutely makes no sense. I mean, it's her belief, you know, it's her, she was raised in cold and she was believed that to some kind of a messiah, if you will. And the only reason, the only way to get that done is by dying. So she's essentially was crudest terms of a, a fanatic. So tomorrow it's just going to be what, the two of you? Uh, I have no idea. And do you have any other allies helping you? I know you're with the... the yeah, we have all the Hagens. Okay. I mean, the, the deputies want to step in, but last time I helped let the deputies take control, I lost an eye and my arm all fucked up. My trust in, and I attempted murder, so my trust in deputies right now are all time zero. Do you need anything? What do you need? Nothing. You don't need money? You don't need no, I have anything. plenty of money. Listen, I'm just playing the devil advocate here. You know, she ain't here to speak for herself, so I'm just speaking about what she has uh, raised to me, her concerns. sides but uh you know all, all, all i think sal is trying to say and what we're trying to say as a whole is that we at the end of the day no matter what uh, work aside business aside you know mm -hmm. everyone's always been welcome down here in santa Anita. i mean prior she can claim her life was threatened but i'm pretty sure there was what five of us on that boat Bryn included no idea uh, we were all on the boat together. You, you were there. I was not there. Yeah, you. We, uh, hey, what? When was this conversation? Remember when we tried the new boat? My new the night we went out. Oh, on the new boat. Yeah. <laughs> Both Brigitte and Bren were there. It's we, uh, you know, it's it was a. Oh uh, yeah, it's invite yeah. only. Well, no, it's not invite only. You just have to yeah, apply. It's a different conversation then. This, oh, was, yeah. this was just a week ago. I'm saying, as far as the you know. This will get you there. Brigitte's been staying away, is feeling her life yeah, threatened. She just thinks because boat ride with us all. I convinced um, Bren to not do that. Vice versa, you know, we gotta talk. Howdy. Hello. 
Howdy, howdy. Hello. I don't know. I just... We've given her every chance. Right, and I, I, I'm not... Is this about... Arguing this? that, I'm not, you know? I don't want you to think that I'm arguing. I'm just thinking that... I don't know. The more I, we let her go off and do things, the more I've, I'm seeing how... What has happened to you right now? I'm, I'm kind of blaming her. I understand. What up, random... Has something else happened since we spoke the other day? Uh, no. Hmm. Other than the fact that she's still doing this whole she was told to get the fuck out or she would get killed by one of us. Is she still telling people that? Uh, not really. That's the ultimate sentiment. No, we're just talking about the cabinet. Yeah, like, why she left. just like the overall... I do want Time to line, I suppose. very clear to everyone here that she chose to leave. I understand that the onus she placed on that fucking choice was on me. But that was a choice she made. I, yeah. I feel as though was, at one point she put it on both of us. Yeah, she, probably. She feels as though collectively we, we want to... Yeah, I don't know why. But... Uh, at the end of the day, what I, I think what I was trying to say as far as the fact that we were just on that boat together just a few nights ago was that uh, at the end of the day, she doesn't want to work here. The sentiment is that she was still welcome here as far as uh, we were always all in the bar together. We were all friends at one point. And if you, it, by extension, you need help. You, know, you should have asked. I understand uh, why she may not have felt that she could have, but you could have always asked. Right. I mean, the point was, Riker flat out offered her money, offered her position, Salvatore offered a fucking position, and the next day she turns around to me and says, I had to betray you all to the night raid because I needed money. Wait, I didn't even know that she betrayed us to the night raid. Well, she was talking to them and trying to give them information about a number of things. Betrayal might be a bit of a heavy-handed word for it, but... Okay. And the whole night raid thing, and I, I, I don't know if I've talked to Brynn about it or not, but, like, it's not a bad idea. It's just she did it before talking to anyone here. No, it's a terrible idea. It's a terrible idea. Man. Yeah. It's a terrible idea executed in the manner that she was doing it and in in her control that's what i'm mm -hmm. saying coming like, to me with the question of what can i tell them not hello here's an idea and something that's happening here's a plan do we want to go through with it do we want to talk about it exactly it was what can i tell them yeah you talk about decision making she went out and did that on her own thinking you know best laid plans as far as it were but uh yeah and you all know me here i my first Off with her instinct head. was to blow her away then and there. But because of Butch, and because of whatever lingering sympathy, I gave her the benefit of the doubt yet again. I told her to not fucking contact them or do any of this dumb shit with robbing fucking stores and whatever else to get herself caught. I told her to stop doing that, or I told her to leave St. Denis and the Chamber of Commerce. And she, like a petulant child, said, fine, Bryn, I'll leave. And she stormed the fuck out. So whatever onus this is from my fault, for Riker's fault, for she left, for she's on her own, for she's having to fucking make up her own mind out there, it's self-made. <laughs> Hamster. I mean, that's how I'm seeing it. She made the choice. Right. I mean, listen, again, I'm just... I, she ain't here, I gotta speak about it, you know? Sure, that's fine, but I feel like... The things that are happening to you... Could have been all avoided. I mean, Doug and I sat in Doyle's and we said that we will handle this cold thing right here, right now. What do you want us to do? But then she goes off and, and you guys are now recruiting other people? Deputies and these Hagens? When we already well, offered it. Ain't my idea. And, and that's look, that's my problem. I understand, but it's, you know, this is her, her shit, her life. So I'm letting her choose it. 
Then why the fuck is her life worth more than yours? Why the yeah. fuck is her life worth more than the fucking deputies and the fucking Hagens than anyone else? Uh, She's getting involved in this shit. No, she died. She should have stayed fucking dead. She should have asked any of us. The dissonance between her saying, I cannot be around Brynn, she's going to fucking kill me. And then turning around and saying, I need to rob people so deputies will shoot and kill me. And also, I don't want to speak out uh, of, you know, what I up the group? Brynn again, but what if... How you doing? If her intention at the end of the day was to try to go undercover with any other gang or rob stores and do things like that, then fucking say it. Just don't let accept, us know. Don't accept the position on my side of things and, and the the board. Uh, just say, hey, I'm, I'm doing all right with with you, Bryn, and come to us. And Good old bank RP about your intentions. I'm I get again, it. I, butch, I, I understand that she's not here and you need to speak to her, but. The anger in this is directed at you right now because we lost you for her dumb fucking shit. Yeah, absolutely. And I don't. Maybe anger is even a, a strong anger word. Anger is a strong just, fucking yeah. word for it. More, if anything, I'm angry at the fact that we couldn't be there to help you, and that you're in that, that you by extension are in this fucking state because of your association and, and choices you made in relation to her, which I can understand completely. It's just. Uh, okay, listen, it, what I've done with her, I do it for everyone here in this room. That's why I said I understand. So I'm saying it's like, it's not just because she's not so special case. I would literally, every single person, I would gladly lose a knife for, or my arm, fingers, whatever. I don't give a shit. I have no doubt about Bush. that. The same, again, the same on fucking special case. It's just, I look after my people. I understand that. I do. But she made it very clear she doesn't want to be your people or anyone's people. She wants to do exactly what she wants to do, when she wants to do it, with no fucking repercussions to any goddamn side of herself. Because, as I told you, she is a selfish, stupid little child. <laughs> and I am saying that as someone that many would call a selfish, stupid little fucking child. But, I haven't lost anyone their fucking eye. And I will say by extension as well, I understand you were doing this for any of your people. Oh, Jesus. But Vivian got shot the other day. I love I this office, dude. I love it. I wish because that... when I needed you to be there, you weren't. I wish I had a key to yeah, the doors, I mean, though. I was in Sisica, got out of Sisica, got chased for three hours, got shot up and tossed off a cliff. I understand, and I'm, I'm Jesus not... Jesus Christ. I'm not trying to say that that isn't a tragedy in its own, but you understand. Like a bank manager key. It's very hard for me to see that this is an extension of all of us together when she's clearly taking priority. How you doing there? Welcome to the First Bank of St. Denis. Yeah, I know. Is there anything I can help you with today? Just to make it better with a troll, that's all. Sure, sure. Is that Salil in there? Uh, it depends on who's asking. An acquaintance, that's all. Is it a good acquaintance or a bad acquaintance? I love acquaintances. I say neutral. Um, I believe it is. Sure. How you doing, Butch? Howdy. You doing all right? Ah, uh, so so. You, is Butch, is this on? a friend of yours? I mean, more so acquaintances, I suppose. Oh, I love acquaintances. Yeah. No hangout, nothing. Alright, well, I'll let you get back to your withdrawals and if there's anything that you need outside of uh, just the regular, you know, withdrawals and deposits, feel free to let one of us know. Yeah. And, uh, I'm running with what I need to do. Sure. Well, thank you thank so you much, for, much for choosing First Bank of St. Denis. Uh, take it easy, Salvador. Take it easy. 
toss away or say hello as well. Amen. How the how the how the how the hell does he know my name? Who who was that? Um, how does he know my name? I have no idea. I am uh, you're cold. posting your shit everywhere. Yeah. Hmm? Cold. Uh, it's Alex did. Mercer. Alex yeah. Mercer. Yeah. Uh, the name I did brain uh, surgery on him a little while ago. Who the hell's Alex Mercer? Uh, cult, cult member. Cults. The most violent one that murdered two of my friends. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Oh, well. I would like to say that he asked if Salil was in here, but I did not answer it without him explaining why he needed to know. Why did he need to know? Huh. He said that he was an acquaintance, and I asked, what kind of acquaintance? He said a neutral huh. one. I believe I shot at him once. Oh, then that, mm. that's that's comforting. Well, uh, Mrs. Colt uh, has sent me lot of, lots of nice letters upon getting out of Siska, and before then, of course. Apparently, yeah. we're on good terms, according to them, I believe. Mrs. Colt as in Ruby? Yes. Oh, boy. Yeah. Jesus. Oh. Is, is something amiss? We don't like her. Oh, well, I never said I liked her either. I just said we were on decent terms. Well, that's fair. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't really like Tommy, but we're on decent terms. Screw you. I don't, I don't actually really like Bryn either, to be honest. Mm. Yeah, I'm aware. I know you're aware, they're not. Well, it's alright, none of them like me that much either. <laughs> I can't blame them. <laughs> Do you want this door to be closed? No, you can yes. leave. I, I, okay. Close. Do you, you want me to time, open yeah. it, Mr. Bank Manager? I prefer it open just because I can see people coming in, but... I want to see. But sure. Butch does have two ears still, so he can hear really well. Mm-hmm. We have missed that. <laughs> oh, um, for the record. Uh, guys in purple sashes, the couple that were in here before. They are moving into roads. What the fuck? Uh, hooligans? Something? Hooligans? Hooligans? Something? Yeah. Philip anyway. Hooligan, yeah. Wait. Well, are they. Are they're they not actu- moving into St. Denis. They're moving no, but into are, they, are they actually Hooligans? Hooligans? Yes. Wait, their name is Hooligan Hooligans. Yeah. Yes. That's that's what I was oh. trying. Wow. Uh, I, 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 I know. Intimidating I, and yeah. I thought you were just like impactful and saying their name wrong but, twice. No. 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 Wait. No, are they is... like a gang called that? They are apparently a gang. Yes. Yeah. They, what? They, 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 were, they were wearing purple sashes. <laughs> and all good matching sashes. I think we're bringing out the orange again, huh? Okay. No. <laughs> no I'm not bringing no. out the orange. No way. The orange? Not now. Not never. No. The, there was a gang once with big orange sashes. Anyway, the point being of that is they may be around. They are friendly to us. Um, what the fuck they're not? Not the way they talk to Riker. Wait, oh, hold on. Though. Who? I think there's a miscommunication. Riker was, was trying to come into the door and the fella told him now. And this, this is somebody that was protecting his boss. And I think all of us can understand that. If it was the oh. other way around. Yes, that might have been a miscommunication because they didn't know who the fuck you were, right? Mine would is... aim guns. Mm-hmm. See? I mean, I was about to fight him for Douglas, like, being that shit. We're going to be right back. Mm-hmm. I was about to stick my fucking pistol down his throat. <laughs> yeah, was, well, okay, so, Mr. Houlihan... Is a, or is a client of ours at the bank. He has paid off his debt fully. And How much he, did he take out? He took out 300 Wow, okay. And he paid nice. it back in half the time that he needed it. Excellent. So uh, he's off of our list for that. But Joseph? Joseph is still in need. Riker is the contact for him. Joseph Farago? 
Yeah, I, I need to send him a letter he, to let him he, know. He, um, last I heard via letter, he claims he has money and he would like to pay. He's, I think, more around during the day. He works at a Coyote Crossing. If he if he wants to, if he doesn't want to like meet with somebody, he could just tell the tell us to transfer it to me, mm. or to you if that's what you want to do. No, for for loan of that size, I wouldn't trust the. Uh... How much was it? Hundred and fifty. All right. Well, total that needs to be collected is a hundred and eighty. He's around during the day, works at Coyote Crossing, uh, a bit of a English accent, uh, mm. a horse rider. You remember him. Friend from Blackwater, the one who wants to be our ho uh, the horse rider. Uh, yep. Mm. Hmm. Anyways, what I was getting to is, Mister Holand paid off his his debt to us, and now he's looking for maybe some work. And I think that if we ever come into a need of somebody that needs to, we need to collect payment from. He seems to have a nice process in how they do things. Mm -hmm. And it would not be on their own. It would be with one or two of us to make it official. Do they aim guns without question? Mm, maybe. Something we'd have to discuss. Again, this is not Didn't set in stone. This is the beginnings of a conversation. One of the bonuses is he did assure me there would be absolutely no interest or turf war in any way in St. Denis. No. I'm going to... Uh... I'm going to ask something straight up here, because, uh... Mm -hmm. Sal, you're aware there's a, uh... There's a transfer coming? Very quiet, Breaker. Sal, you're aware there's a, uh... Yeah. Transfer this weekend? I am aware. Do you have any plans for that? What do you think? Mm. So, if your if your concern is present company, no, you, you're fine. We'd be remiss to think that uh, everyone doesn't already know what's going on. Mm. So, Leo, were you planning on hitting the bank transfer coming up? What? Oh, oh no! It sounds so wonderful to do so, but no. Mm -hmm. See, there. We're being good boys and girls, are we not, though? Yes, we are. Uh, Salvatore, our opportunity just opened up again. It's not even a, no. We just need to be here and uh, yeah. be, be prepared to receive the. Nah, fuck that. The if the phases aren't doing it, then me and Salvatore can do what we did that one time and that, actually go through with it. There's zero uh, point in that. What if anything, we should have people escorting that yeah, transport, so. making sure it gets here safely, and then upon arrival that escort uh, simply walks them into the bank where a one Mr. Salvatore Cassini, the bank manager of the First Bank of St. Denis, is here to personally receive that uh, delivery and ensure it gets into the vault securely. Sal, you should probably draft up some paperwork. Hey, that I, I sounds that. very fucking boring. Are you looking sounds to get shot? Sounds very boring to have the uh, four deputies and uh, government detail just hand you the money. We would be basically acting as ourselves, associates of the bank. However, we don't help transfer it on to the next one. And Doug, if it's action you're looking for by escorting this transfer uh, at a distance, you ensure that no one else who uh, might want to steal it. And if it's in term of extracurricular activities, we will be doing some of those in the future, just not this one. Sal has been, this is the whole point, Sal has been laying the foundation. He's been operating the bank for, what, almost two months now? We, Since we are, day one, this we has are been a, part of the conversation. We are a gold and uh, exchange center. This is This is what we do. This is making me want to rob a bank. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put on my my fancy suit. We'll all be here waiting. We'll get the uh... hell. We'll put some drinks out. For the like whole that. detail. Get them all drunk, mm -hmm. and then they don't understand. Yeah. They don't pay attention to what we do with the money. 
tell we'll give the tellers the night off. That's a good plan. Yeah, I can uh, draft up a, a letter from the bank. And I'll just, send leave, it to... just leave the amount empty. May, oh, you know what we should do? We don't know who's doing the detail, unfortunately, but you should probably... Uh... Can Sean find out? No, we should just be sending telegrams to... Uh... Just, oh. just send telegrams that proactively. Yep. Just be, we are yep. aware of the transport. We just want to ensure you that employees and representatives of the First Bank of St. Denis will be on site. We present. would like to clarify that it is this time at this mm -hmm, location. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then you get the paperwork ready, leave the amount blank, fill it out the night of, yeah, et cetera. Do you remember when it was supposed to happen? This Saturday evening, I believe. Mm-hmm. You might have to uh, take Friday off. Oh, I'll, I'll... I'm not going to be around Friday or Saturday. That's fine. I'm listed as a general counsel of the bank. It's going to be a hard sell without you here. I mean, I it's can send a letter. Be, but we, yeah, we should still do that. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I can see if Maggie can be on the floor as well. That might be the best bet. We don't have to let her know what's going on. She's also listed as an employee. It wouldn't be a bad idea to have more than one. I'm listed as general counsel with her there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you think I should be there? That would probably put them at ease. No, hmm. not at yeah, all. That's a great idea. You can sit in the <laughs> chair again. Oh, perfect. No, okay. No, Bernard, Bracker, don't Bernard, give like, him ideas. I, I like Mr. Wheeler. Of course mm, you do. He's very funny. I actually think that if uh, they came in to, to drop that transfer off and you were just sitting there with the doors open, they'd put that money down real quick. Mm -hmm. I like him a lot. Mm-hmm. Like him. Sal, it's wrong. Don't worry about it. I sit in that chair, too, when you're around. You know that. All the time. Someone's got to keep it warm. Yeah, I sit in it quite often. Everyone's just doing you a favor, Mr. Salvatore. Hmm. I'm not putting my boots on your desk, though. Even I didn't do that. Yeah, how, how rude. I said I stopped. <laughs> yeah, I but never started. started. In the first place, mm -hmm. yes, exactly. Look at all of those important documents he has in front of him, look. And I moved them first. Oh, how I'm not an of animal. Okay. Sure, look, sure. Look, look, people should not be in here Touching my things, moving papers, sitting in my chair. I hate to break it to you, Sal. You shouldn't have uh, asked the government to get the locks taken off your door. Yeah. Or else it would have just been me in here. I wouldn't have been in here. The bad thing is, is I wouldn't be in here either then. Uh... Well, I suppose that makes Bryn the manager. Yeah. Congratulations, Bryn. I don't even oh, understand how that makes sense at all. Well, if she has the uh, key, then she's the only one who can get into oh, the Oh, yeah, you and... can try that, because we've been down that road before. It's all right, they don't well, know who I am. Usually when I have a key, it was for other reasons and very successful. Mm -hmm. My very large key ring is only for legitimate reasons, first of all. Sure. Sure. Anyway, I need to get back to Van Horn. So the last I... of you have a wonderful night. Mm. Would you yes. like me to ride with you? If you'd like to, I don't mind going by myself. Oh. Mm. Mm -hmm. How's everyone doing? <laughs> we got, uh... Howdy. Oh, it's... I guess I should handle the business up front. <laughs> How you doing, fellas? Hey, what's going on? Oh, Philip, how are you doing? Hey. Oh, I don't need to do the whole speech. Yeah, you know what you're doing. <laughs> I think you might down. be in the in the middle of something. Yeah. Um, just a quick um yeah. introduction. Sorry, oh. excuse me. Virgil here. Excuse me. How you doing, Mr. Cassini? I'm oh. assuming. Virgil, Salvatore Cassini. Nice to meet you. Sir. It's a pleasure. This must be Miss Brynn. Yes, this is. How you pleasure. doing? My name's Virgil Bohannon. 
Burn he's another one you can add to the contact list. He's uh one of my hand men. Holy shit. Bullhead. What the oh, hell? Perfect, thank you. Yeah, and he would probably be the only other kind hey, of you have a one. Alright, so just the three of you then. Yes, you too, man. Right safe. My dude. Perfect. That uh puts okay. me at ease for sure. It's good to meet you. Pleasure. Bohan, is that a two ends N N O N? Mm-hmm. N N O N, yes sir. Perfect. Yes. That's really it. Oh, thank you so much. All right. Yeah, thank you for coming down here. Of course. We're in the area for you. Nice head out. boop. Oh, it's convenient. All right then. Yeah. yeah. Pleasure to meet you, folks. You too. Take care, Virgil. Philip. <laughs> Bill. Uh -oh. oh, just. Don't. There's yeah, that. don't worry about it. <laughs> My fucking cigarette. <laughs> so many people. I still have it. Oh. Always ready. Oh, let's go get our fucking horses. Uh, okay, okay, okay. You know what's funny? People picked up the gold nuggets, but nobody's come to me about it yet. Always yeah, be ready. Damn it. So what's that? The 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 head honcho? Uh, Philip is. Uh, but he that's the three people that uh, we're going to be in contact with now. Okay. Mm -hmm. They seem like Virgil, interesting fellas. Bo Bo Bohan, Bo 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 yeah. Jesus Christ. Maybe not, that. Maybe that Bohan will stay not around. Another one. Probably not. We'll see. Hmm. Then they're taking over roads. Yep. Well, That's I, what they want to do. I don't think they're taking well, over taking, roads. Not taking over. They're just going to be based out of. Yeah. That's where they they're going to be laying their head. They're not interested in turf wars, which I appreciate. Absolutely. They just. They want to help people get the things that they need. For better or for worse, I don't know about this with them again. That's what I said. We're not locking anything in. It's not a contract. It's not a relationship. But yeah, and if anything, hello and being known is important. Yeah. yeah, it's all about the whole thing that we talked about the other day, right? Growing our network with people. I can give them a trial run. We get, we stick them on James Lee here or. Or James Smith, or you know this Farrago fella, and get if they bring back the money, then we know that we can trust them. Mm -hmm. and like I said, if we do send them out that way, I would prefer me, Bobby Butch, some one of us at least yeah. going with them just to verify everything. Yeah, Butch, as long as you're still uh. What the heck is that? I think you just spit over my head. Um, yeah, Butch. I mean, I know that. You have reached out to me in the letter saying that you're still available to help us out, and I'm more than willing to let you help us. Mm -hmm. Like I said, you know, since uh, I'm fine with holding on to some of this extra goods and coming to you for the services. Sure. And if you need people uh, to be sought after for their their payments uh what is happening no uh, i think we're all right you know some people are just quick to draw i was just trying to skip around you're Sorry. liable to get kicked in the face mm -hmm. you really are thomas, say that every time I... I did this thomas i hate it i hate it when you do that so much why you know why Look. i hate it I don't. I'm a gremlin. I'm gonna kick you. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Okay. Uh oh. You see anything? I think it's all right. I think Butch might have taken care of it. They just come in now? I have no idea. I have a horrible eyesight, can't see anything. You might want to calm your horse. Easy there, Riker. Silver, you want to get put down right now? 
You all right, Butch? You all right there? Mm -hmm. Dandy. You're still quick on the draw there. Always. Very quick. All right. Well, I think that's all the business for this evening. I think so, too. Well, I mean, one last thing is just what the fuck are you going to do tomorrow? Do you need people to try and be around? Um, I mean, I ain't too sure. Wait, what? Tomorrow's the fucking day. The 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 fucking oh, the the Jesus date Christ. the date that the world ends. We're all we're, the everything's over tomorrow, guys. Go. Thank fucking God. Go sp go spend spend your money and do whatever you need to do, Sal. Let's. I don't know. But in all seriousness. If you ask, I will be there. Yeah. I have I have no idea. Honestly. Well, better or worse, I am one of the better shots you're gonna get, so... Yeah. If you would like to not die, I am happy to turn up. Amen. I mean, I, I think I've had my shootout quota for... at least three months, but, uh... I... I, I can help in other ways. Mm -hmm. Somehow, or hey, depending on the Brett, circumstances. Okay. Oh. Well, I guess that's a, that's a good thing. But I don't want you to die. No. Then you get shot. I don't get shot. Well, it just seems as though this particular situation has enough deputies uh, involved already. I don't need to be randomly uh, associated with <laughs> cult activity. You know. But uh, and get shot. Yeah. God damn it, Doug. I didn't get shot. <laughs> you, you, I thought you did, but that's fine. I still I can't believe. That. Oh, okay. That I still can't believe sense. that you went straight from having a knife thrown in the back of your neck to to a shootout. It. Well, I would not say it was straight. Well, I suppose maybe right from his recovery, but yeah, it was laid up in that hotel for some time. I'll use my pistol and swing. I'm gonna grab Harrison right around the neck and put it right in his fucking kidneys and pull the trigger. Speaking, speaking of that man, have you guys seen him at all? No. Not a lick. Alright. Mm. Also, I've not received any threatening letters. Otherwise, not a fucking word. Nothing. Yeah. Which you know you would think if your business partner brutally betrayed you. Yeah. Mm. You'd at least send a fuck you or something. Maybe communication is in uh, their oh, forte. Uh, you know what? I can assure you of that because he said Dylan Moore still runs things. So. Okay. All right. So that's yeah. Deposit. Uh, three hundred and yeah, do three hundred eighty. Right, Doug. Good night, Doug. What, Doug's leaving? Yeah. Well, some bitch doesn't even tell me. Did you just tackle him in the middle of the street? Yeah. Doug, it was a good night hug. So you can't even uh, tell your old pal goodbye? I figured you were gonna be back. I'm gonna walk. I'm gonna ride right past everyone. So, oh. who the fuck is that? I don't know. All right, buddy. We'll take care. Yeah. 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 I won't be around Friday, so. Okay. Well, just Stay send safe. me a letter. Let me know. Yeah. Did you me ever too. get the letter that I sent you? Um. Wait, what? Hello. I'm not sure. All right. I sent you one whenever, after everything happened. And... Oh, I think so. All right. All right. See if Sarah's going to bed. Take care. All right.
Y'all have a good night. Oh. Uh, probably. Good night, dog. Right safe. Why are we standing good out night, in the, fr the fucking rain? Oh. There's a bunch of yahoos. Just oh, thank you. Christ. Christ. You know, the yeah. bank is, uh... Oh, Dry. Wants to join in. I sir. It's nice to get oh, people wet. Oh, what the hell? Jesus okay. Christ. Well, I mean, you could have just. Like a... uh, that was Why weird. is he wearing his shirt like that? In that. Maybe because he's oh. hot. All right. Okay. Oh. Uh, uh. Amen. <laughs> Why don't you uh, come inside and uh, get dried off there? Okay. Do you have a Do you have a note right now with the names, or you want to send me that letter? Okay. Make up your mind. I'm just kidding. Oh. Hold on, hold on, hold on, no, no, I have horrible memory. What a on. night. Yes. Another loan paid off. Yeah, I uh. With two ends. Should you go write a letter or a telegram before we go? No, maybe a letter. Yeah. Okay. To the uh. Oh my uh, goodness! Just Griff. To someone in the sheriff station regarding the transfer. Yeah, what do we want to actually say on that? I have no idea, considering we don't know who's actually doing it. Well, we can say that you know we okay. would be gladly to assist, mm -hmm. like. Seeing it safely into our vault. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you think mm -hmm. that they're actually going to let us handle it? They're going to come. They're going to uh, open the the vault, and we're just going to take the money off their hands. We're going to go in there with, uh, you know, get a little ledger out, and uh, well, you won't be there, but I'll go in there with the ledger and. Chess uh... grip. Thanks so much for the raid, buddy. A little just chatting. Mm -hmm. uh, Let's see here. Look, look, see, I've got a, uh, uh, an invoice here for, uh, mm -hmm. I don't know, let's call it $2,000. Maybe some gold. Yep, uh, uh, go right to be received by employees of the First Bank of San Denis. I'll see you later. I, uh, Riker Wheeler, General Counsel. Okay. I'm here to sign for said goods, etc. Are you, you going to send my... me that rough draft when you're done? <laughs> no, look at my fancy suit. Uh, this is my associate, Marianne. She also works... Oh, at... am I going to be there? Get, get her added to the business license. Uh, that's to? probably a terrible idea. That's. I was literally going to say I'm not going to be there at all. Because... Uh, you should be across the street, though. Because, uh, you know, Sal, if at the end of the day, maybe uh, you know, we could just uh, kidnap all the deputies and take the money if needed and just lock them oh, in the vault. Okay, all right. I'm... Well, you, you have to remember that we're doing <laughs> no. it under the name of the bank. No, I, I'm. That was it. Come on. Come yes, on. But there's no witnesses, Salvador. Hold dark humor. It's okay. It's so, still stealth if no one can tell about it. So hold on. Hold on one sec. We're expecting them Look, to they're... hand us the money and then we walk it into the vault that they have to unlock. No, 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 no. They're going to open the vault and we're just going to be here and then I'm just going to take this clipboard into the vault and then just say, okay, we're here. We'll we'll count it. We'll take care of all the accounting, etc. We're going to make sure that we have an independent count. We need to review it. We're not just going to take the word that they're dropping off all the money. I see. How, who, who's to say they didn't take it along the way? So our story is we need to end up, we need an independent verification or an internal verification of the count. We want to count the money out. And they can leave at that point. We have our own security. They've dropped it off. We'll count it. Thank you very much. Be on your, be on your merry way. If you can uh, send me just like the shorthand version of that, and then I'll, I'll, I'll put it up in a letter and I'll, I'll send it off to them. What do I look like? Good, uh, general counsel? Yeah. Until I replace you, yeah. Okay. I'll do it. And uh, 
I'll send out some telegrams as well. All right. What do you what do you what are you making noise about over there? What? Not, I'm appreciating your pun. I love seeing you two work together. Is, is that too much? <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's a little weird. What up, Thomas? Like, How you doing? Uh, you just Griff, I'm doing good, buddy. About to end stream here, actually. But thank you so much for raiding and everything. Once the server it's crash or restarts, what? Wait, you leaving? You leaving? leaving? Did she just leave? Like she's she's just walking around. You know, I, I think she's gonna come back I... in the other side. Stay safe. I take it back. You are difficult. She's leaving. I still don't think she's difficult. No, nope, she's super difficult. Stay safe. Oh my god, it's three she's, times weird. That sound weird. I'm not difficult. Not at all. Goodbye, then. And for the record, I meant that. I'm. I. I know. I really am not difficult. Mm. I don't think you are. You're pretty straightforward to me. Mm -hmm. The most straightforward person in this fucking state. Night, you're not. I just like to give you shit. I love how none of you support me when it's needed. It's very good. I'll what remember do you mean? that. I support you. Salvador supported me. The rest of you did not. That's right. Amen. Hey, what do you mean? I said amen. Burn down. Amen. Jeez. Amen. I'm going to take my demon horse and I'm going to sleep. Good night. All right. Good night. Good night. Butch, let me know if you need me tomorrow. Yep. Yeah, I will let anyone know who wants to partake. All right. Stay safe. Stay safe. See, that was easy. That, there was nothing creepy about that. Hmm. And I can't wait to. Can't wait to what? I'm can't sorry. wait to what? You can't wait to... <laughs> can't wait to what? Oh, someone's breaking shit over there. Can't wait to what? Cut you open stuff you want Stop it, bears. stop, stop it. <laughs> Butch is scary, man. Which is real scary. Sal, so stand up here with the clipboard, maybe? I think that's how they oh, should do the uh, lottery drawings. Very demanding of attention. If you stood up there when people... No one would be able to ignore you. No. At least they'd see me. Yep. Uh, yes. Uh, thank you, deputies. I see you're here for the uh, the money transport. Yeah, perfect. We're going to bring it right like? there into the vault once what we unlock it. Thank you. And uh, before, yeah, you're free to go. We're just going to do an independent verification of the amount. We're going to need to count it out. So if you could just hand that to me, great. Oh, that, my God. Perfect. Right, you, you are the man down for here it. And just act like he's talking, but really it's you. And you tell him to slip the money to you because they think you're the teller. I, I wish reality, we, you know, I, I, I already told Sal, I wish we could just give the tellers the night off completely and just get them out of the building, but we can't. So... I mean, I can produce a fire hazard. In the... mm, no, let's just let's keep fires far, far away from the bank. No, it's not about that. It's just we, we, we need two people here at the bank. Oh, well, maybe not. I don't know. I don't know how to do this because if people... If people are going to rob it, they're going to rob it one of two ways. On the route or here. So... Is this, the, leave... is this the last stop? Yes, that's why. We're here to receive it. There's nowhere else for them to go. They, they, they're they so, dropping the money off and leaving. We're making the assumption that it's going to make it all the way here. Well, that's the thing. So we need people to escort it. But if we leave two people here, we're leaving what a what hell? could be just two potential hostages. Is there a bit just... of a... Because yeah, if you're gonna, if pe people are gonna rob it here, they're gonna come here ahead of time. Yeah. God. So, my ear. This is Saturday. Mm-hmm. Mm, I'll be out of state. All the good stuff always happens when I'm not around. Oh God, damn it! Everyone's leaving. 
I hope, uh, my only concern is if the, if we don't do this right, then we might have eyes on the bank that we don't need. Uh, no, I mean, I'm not going to put up any sort of stink where it's, you know, if anything, the fact I'm that we and I can't. are reaching out ahead of time under legal uh, pretense, using the name uh, of, a, of a licensed business, we are coming up with papers and documentation. Uh, we are, if anything, providing the sheriff's department with a obvious paper trail. Oh, oh okay. well, uh, you know, why would we be robbing the bank and then also writing letters? So, uh, hey. we're, we're not trying to rob them per se. It's That's... just a matter of uh, if they don't want to pass yeah. it off to yeah. me nice. as a representative of said bank uh -huh. uh, and, and respect the position and the business license, then we'll. Um, We'll, we'll leave it there. We'll let them just drop it off in the vault themselves, and, and I'll walk out. Hmm. It's just a matter right. of uh, trying to get them to cooperate. That's all. I like it. Yeah, but I really think that the, the best play to do that is our independent verification. We are representatives here at the bank. I want to make sure that you and have not... Uh, the money is not compromised on its route by, by these corrupt deputies. I won't say that. But I'll just say that you know I want to make sure that all the money made it here, and that the yeah. count was correct at each independent bank because you're not counting it. That you being the the deputies, we're just picking it up, Pick, going in, picking up the boxes, oh, moving on to the next place, picking it up. I want to make sure that it's counted proper. All right. Really so if you could just please pass that amount to me, and I will do it. I have my own independent security here. Room. You can uh, head on out, and if there's any indiscrepancies, we will take it up with the independent bank managers where the issues arise from. I like it. Right, I'll tell will, you uh, what, I'll also send a letter to Maggie to see if she's available. It's, I believe, this Saturday evening uh, around 9.30ish. Uh, I mean, they, they're going to be starting in other, in other cities, though, so they got two right. pickups, two, three pickups to make on their on their way here, I believe, uh, according to the, the flyer. I don't remember offhand, but... All right. Holy smokes, it's getting late. I better head to Ansberg. Yeah. Even to fucking Ansberg. I gotta go to the hotel. Yeah. But yeah, we'll, 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 I'll, I'll, uh, I'll get around tomorrow. I'll send telegrams out. And we'll, uh, we'll let them know that we, you know, we're planning to be here. All right. I'll take one of these and get it out of the way. Good lord. Howdy. All right. It's getting late for me. I think I'm going to head to Ansberg and lay down. All right. All right. Viv, always a pleasure seeing you. Yes. Um, we didn't really have time to discuss new ideas, but I have a few. Um, not for my business. I think my business, I will... Um, not continue, but for making posters for new businesses. Sure, sure. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll have that conversation another time, all of us, I'm sure. We have to uh, figure out how to advertise for um, new people coming in. I like it. Yeah, we can definitely do that uh, begin, beginning of next week. What do you think? All right. That sounds perfect. All right. Butch, oh. please, please stay safe. Uh, yeah, I'll try. No, don't try. Do. Well, <laughs> I mean, I can't promise you nothing. All right, you're gonna, you're gonna do. You promised me do. that you're gonna I'll... do that. I, that's what I heard. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yep. Of course. Good night, everyone. You burn down. Good night, Sal. Good night, Sal. Jesus. Jesus Christ, sir. <laughs> As they shoot people. <laughs> I'm just heading out. Actually, it's about to crash on me. Doesn't it stop right on the hour?
Yeah, it just stops right on the hour, right? Oh, 12 after? Those dudes are hanging out in Armadillo. All right. Houlihan's hanging out in Armadillo. Sweet. All right. Well, then we might have enough time to get there. Better yet, F me actually driving. Let's just get there. Got to get on a real road though here. A red seal, let's go. Oh, that was, I like, man, I'll tell you what. I know that there's some people, especially, I'm not naming any names, uh, Nick over on Facebook, who think ba uh, the bank RP is boring, but you know, that conversation that we had in the bank about the whole situation uh, that Butch and Bree are doing was pretty legit. I like that. I also liked the conversation that we had in Doyle's. A lot of cool interactions happened today. That was Salvatore's first time actually meeting Salil. Which... I'm not sure how that's gonna go. But... It was... It was... It was definitely interesting. Fucking Salil, man. <laughs> yeah. I... I think I did Sal exactly the way I portrayed Sal to do in a situation like that, so... Yup, yup, yup. For what it's worth, I like Salil. I love that character. He's creepy, but he's like a gentleman about it. So it's so like, <laughs> it was, it was fantastic. <laughs> You're just out here making my life more difficult. <laughs> I was a hundred percent Sal, but I'm making Bryn's life difficult. <laughs> oh, I love it. I I don't like making Bryn's life difficult, but I guess that's the role that Sal plays sometimes. The things I do for this group. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh man. Of course, I get behind a slow poke on the bridge. I know, I don't really feel like. Like Salvatore does a lot for the group. I think he's. It's just. A business that we. Some of us kind of like. Hide behind, I guess. I don't know. Like, I'm not taking... I'm not helping us, like, we make dirty money and we and we clean it through the bank. So there's, you know, like, there's no value there provided. He does a ton for the group, okay? He's out best... He's our best and more useful business. That's true. I mean, I can start paying people now. Like, we can start hiring people, probably. And start paying, because... I finally feel like the rich banker that everyone thinks I am. I am what I am. Oh, and man, don't... It was not lost on me watching Salil and Viv sit there and smile at each other and like bounce in place together and all that shit. I'm like, oh my god. Salvatore's over there trying to gag himself without letting anyone know. <laughs> They're a nightmare. <laughs> and like, even when things get weird or like tense, Viv just still sits there and smiles and that's like so creepy It's amazing, but it's like everybody just has like their own fear factor of themselves 
She plays that character is so interesting to me. Such a uh, it's I'm still I'm still having trouble discovering Viv. Like I always feel like it's a puzzle that I can I can un I can uncover another piece. And I feel like I don't do it enough. real slow because you're a Van Horn resident and you give no f thanks bruh how you doing I love how the NPCs wave to you man I think more people should do that they should hotkey the uh, the wave and as you ride by, wave to each other. Well, all right, guys, you know what's coming up. The server's about to shut down, and uh, Salvatore's going back to lay down as well, which means I'm going to do the same, and I appreciate each and every one of you for hanging out with me tonight. Those of you that are, uh, that are enjoying the stories that are unfolding in front of you, definitely so appreciative of you guys just hanging out with me too. So uh, thank you, thank you. Friday, we will not have a stream. Um, I will be out of town, like literally out of town. And so um, we'll be picking up streams back whenever I get back Monday. All right, guys. Much love to each and every one of you. You guys are amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Have a wonderful weekend and I will see you Monday.